hands on you, big girl. Come here. Yes! It's the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain, being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. Well, you just saw it. The tournament leader, Jamie Hartman, boat and one right there. Welcome to it, the 2020 Bassmaster Elite, fourth stop of the season for the Bassmaster Elite Series at this incredible, iconic place for bass fishing, Lake Champlain, between New York and Vermont. There's the leaderboard as it stands right now. Hartman with the lead. A pretty good size lead considering the spaces between anglers in this extraordinary tournament. Toby Krieger joined the top 10 yesterday and he has made good use of his time today pulling into second place ahead of Seth Fighter. It's been pretty much for the last two days Hartman and Fighter on this place which never fails to delight fishing fans and anglers alike. Let's take you to where we are right now with our hummingbird lay of the lake. They're on the border between Vermont and New York, 100 miles plus, 14 miles wide at points, massive Lake Champlain. Mark Zona, just a superb place to have a tournament of this magnitude. So much history for the Bassmaster Elite Series on Lake Champlain. One of the best bodies of water, fish catching wise, across the nation. You see Ticonderoga, a lot of history down there, not that time mm -hmm. around here on Lake Champlain. As you kind of go up through really Burlington, Vermont, our takeoff there in Plattsburgh, New York. Really fair to say from Plattsburgh North, you've got about, I'll call it about a 12 to 15 mile stretch of water. That has been the major player this time around. We're gonna see a lot more of that today, but it's not gonna be without challenge. Oh, absolutely. Today, well, well, let's talk about weather. First of all, it's been ideal for the first two days and to this point today, some changes rumored to be on the way, Mark, don't I? Tommy Sanders, if you watched the tournament last week on the St. Lawrence River, Mother Nature reared her ugly head on the final day on Championship Sunday. Look for that exact, so it, it is going to get violent on Lake Champlain. We have south winds tomorrow, 15 to potentially 35 miles an hour. It will be welcome to the pain cave, really from oh. start to finish. And with that being said, these guys have mauled them already today. It has been a, a typical Lake Champlain fish factory. Like I said, multiple, multiple big fish, three to four pounds, but they're gonna have to do work because tomorrow, will be a chore. All right, welcome to Bassmaster Live. Mark Zona, Tommy Sanders here in the Bassmaster Studios. Full crew in place here as we head into this afternoon, this crucial afternoon. Ronnie and Such, Mike Sukon, what are you looking at this afternoon? Well, we when we left our morning coverage, Jamie Hartman was experiencing electrical issues. He went to the dock, he replaced his battery. He's kind of saying no sense on dwelling. On that, uh, I'm going to go back out to the space. My fish have rested. I'm ready to go. All right, he's moving forward. What are you moving into, Ronnie? I'm really interested to see how the largemouth guys take advantage of this afternoon. This might be the last calm, sunny afternoon that they get for the rest of the tournament. Will the weather impact the largemouth negatively or positively tomorrow? So this last three hours is going to be very crucial to day three going into day four. Three hours, exactly right, of live bass fishing for you. Let's take you out on the water with our leader and take a look at his day. What has gotten him here so far on Lake Champlain? There's the timeline of his catches today. It's a five fish limit, of course. You put your five best, keep your five best in the live. Well, that's what you take to the weigh-in. He's looking to upgrade that, though, but uh, a good solid weight, 17 pounds, 8 ounces. He's been averaging 20 a day, though. As you nailed it there, Ron Moore, one of the differences on this lake, really compared to a lot of the other northern fisheries we go to, it's a pick-your-poison deal. Number one, do you go after the more plentiful smallmouth, or do you go after some of the more heavier weight largemouth? Well, the last, really, three days, Jamie Hartman has been perfection perfection starting off on smallmouth but really it started yesterday and today landing on this little rock pile mixed in with grass about three to five miles from our takeoff this morning it was a little bit slower than yesterday but slow upgrades that being said taking a look at these catches right here he did have a little bit of maintenance issue and lost as you said mike sukon let's call it about hour and a half hour what? and a half of fishing and in a race that's this tight, that is critical time, but not hard to lose that hour and a half when you have five good smallmouth in the live well. Yes, he's absolutely done his job each and every day and pretty much getting the 90% of the work knocked out before the midday break. So uh, Jamie 
Jamie, of course, uh, then encountered something you don't want in a tournament like this. You don't want to be sidelined for any period of time. Tommy, you don't want that just on a vacation weekend no, on a beautiful no, that's true. Saturday true enough. in New York. Oh, no. Jamie Hartman losing about 90 minutes. Uh, things are back in shape. And as we understand, Jamie Hartman is back up and going. But critical, critical fishing time. Had to shut everything down. Mostly electronics, we think, is the, is the root of the problem, and and he just couldn't even tell where he was. But he did make it back to the back to the uh, back to the launch and uh, got some good help. Exactly right. The uh, Plattsburgh boat launch. Take a look at the legend Rick Clun yeah. to the right, coming to help Jamie Hartman out. All right, so he is up and back out on the water, but sacrificing some time, time which he's used the first three and days to add incrementally to his total. And he was a little bit spun out. Jamie Hartman, a oh, really yeah. mellow dude and doesn't get riled up. It, it, it affected him for a while, but uh, again, back out fishing. There to get bit. Jamie Hartman live. Well, we just made a move to the north through the onslaught of boat traffic. and <laughs> um, We moved up here. I got, this is one of my go-to kind of big fish deals. There ain't a lick of wind. Um, we're going to try this. I don't, if there's no wind, I ain't going to mess with anything out there at all. I'll just head over to the inland after this. Uh, trying to play catch up, dude. I got to make up for that hour and a half I lost and hopefully stick a big one here. I, that's what I need to do. That's uh, very crucial right now. So let's hope it works out, man. And real quick, the, it, it didn't affect his bottom line at all as far as, I mean, he held his lead mm -hmm. throughout that 90 minutes that he lost. But what it does more than anything, it gets you out of, out of tilt with where you, you have a mental clock of how you're going to manage certain fishing areas, how much time you're going to give them, and it knocks you out of that rotation. And you could tell there's a sense of urgency when really he doesn't need that. Obviously, he doesn't know the scores. Um, but you could tell that the clock is ticking, in, it, at least in his brain, where it spun him out losing that 90 minutes. To give you a little setup on Jamie Hartman, he won twice out of nine regular season events last year on the Bassmaster Elite Series. He's looking for his third victory in basically 13 months. Yes. And at Cayuga last year, he had a similar deal where he was managing his time in his areas. Where he had ran, said no, that was wrong, and went back to the same spot and won it. <laughs> Out to Kobe Krieger, second place Kobe Krieger. That's his timeline for today. Exactly right. Kobe Krieger, a veteran, yes. the Bass Masters and other tournament trails. Oh, He's had a Krieger. slow few years, oh, yeah. making on, a man. huge, huge surge here. Kobe Krieger, originally from the Michiana area, and where northern Indiana meets southern Michigan. A lot of history fishing these northern fisheries. And yesterday, Kobe putting the biggest bag on the scale, 22 pounds of just smallmouth bass, and said he laid eyes on a lot more than that. Unbelievable topwater bites early this morning. We'll definitely be in the boat for the rest of the day with Kobe Krieger. I imagine we'll be in the boat with him tomorrow as well, all day long. Great fish catches earlier this morning, and one of the things different, Kobe Krieger from a lot of our other leaders fishing very shallow, call it really 10 feet of water and less, and in the majority of the time that we were with Kobe Krieger this morning, really five feet in shallower, catching big, big New York smallmouth bass. Yeah, maybe. You take that one. A real ace with a top water walking style lure. Let's put that to good use today. Watch your oof. Got him. Boy, you could. <laughs> You can watch that over and over. As we said earlier in this event, day one, day two, 
It's like these areas tend to reload every day. Well, we're 12, a little after 12, and it's gotten a little slow here at the moment. Um, I've had my opportunities in the last hour and a half to upgrade and, you know, be searching for tomorrow, but now I'm still searching for today because they didn't get in the boat. They just don't seem to be eating a spook nearly as good today as they did yesterday. They'll blow up on it and swirl around on it and chase after it. For whatever reason, they're not eating it. I don't know why, um, but, you know, that could change the next time I stop. So we're going to go back to where I started. I know there's some still some fish swimming around there. Make a couple circles around my rock pile and see what happens, and then go spooking the rest of the day, it looks like. I fished my flat, but I've been catching some fish on jerk bait, and then it just just doesn't seem to be happening with it being so calm and flat. Um, so I sort of abandoned that program and we're gonna go spook points the rest of the day. Cobra Krieger throwing a, is there a spook topwater bait? Something that he's had decades of history with. Not going quite as planned compared to day number two of this tournament for Kobe so far. No, no, not exactly. It's been a Wild and Wooly in his boat, throwing those plugs with all those hooks in there, but he has landed by by far the, the great majority of his fish, and that's one thing you gotta do. He landed himself at He one landed time. himself. That's he a bycatch, you might call it. Yes, yeah, right. Let's get out to Seth Fighter, one of the favorites for sure, leading into this tournament. Seth Fighter starting early this morning on the New York side of Lake Champlain, up near what's called the Rouse's Point area. Yes. Very popular really area for smallmouth bass here on Lake Champlain. Yeah. Mixing it up a lot more today. Very, very calm. But Seth, one of those anglers that's, he has a distinct game plan. He wants to target smallmouth for about the first two hours every day. Fill that live well, get a solid five bass limit, then go to the Inland Sea over in Vermont and make those largemouth upgrades. And so far this week, that has been spot on for Seth Fighter. That being said, it's been a little bit slower than expected today. There you go. There's a giant largemouth yesterday. It's almost six and a half pounds. And that, that changes anyone's day. That has not happened yet today. But uh, Which, to give it scale, that bass that he caught yesterday, yes, six That's pounds, nice. six ounces, there are a million yes, sir. three to four pound yeah. bass in this lake. To get to that six pound mark, it, in the history that we've televised these events, cover these tournaments yes, together, sir. we've never yes, seen sir. a six pound no. together. Oh, no. That's how extraordinary that is, and, and boy, did it make it change in his day yesterday. It was, it was the number one moment of this tournament, to be sure. All right, Cole. Earlier this morning, now live with Seth Fighter. Give us that update. All right, uh, it's noon, a little afternoon. Um, got off to a fair start this morning. Got a couple nice smallies, and then uh, uh, pulled the plug on that at 8:30. Started largemouth fishing, so we've had a long day of largemouth fishing already. But uh, caught two decent ones couple maybe a three and a half and a three and I'm still looking for you know one of them game changer bites and just I haven't crossed paths with them yet Bit of a game changer yesterday, that yeah Talk about that. that was that was a that's a giant fish for this lake um, those go a long ways I was able to lay off a lot of my largemouth stuff yesterday because I caught that big one so early um, so I got to save a lot of it, but now that we're going through a lot of the stuff, it's, I don't know if it's not as good as I thought it was, or if other people have been fishing it, or what, but, uh, we haven't done much on the large mouse, even though the conditions are about perfect for it, really. Um, 
Tomorrow's gonna be pretty bad for the buckets, so I'm gonna run through all my stuff and try to catch as much as I possibly can today. And uh, see where that gets us. Well, you get a good look how low that water is by the rocks behind Seth Bider. Looking about three feet low here on Lake Champlain. In fact, what a lot of the folks that live around there, the lowest they have ever seen wow. Lake Champlain. Couple different factors with that as well. Not only the lack of snow and melt off that runs into the lake from New York winters, but also with the COVID um, regulations and things, a lot of commercial traffic has been prevented. So the locks have been open, allowing water to just flow out of Champlain and drain it down to this level. Well, Seth Fighter still waiting to uh, connect with a big one today. He certainly did that yesterday. Watch this. This is one of the primo moments ever on Bassmaster Live. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, come here. Come here! Woo -hoo! Oh my God. Oh my God, it's a six pounder, dude. Boom! Boom uh, is right. Six pounds, six ounces. That's so huge. That is a Lake Champlain giant to catch that live on camp. It ignited the entire studio. Oh, when caught that. Absolutely. Seth Fighter. Well, third place right now as it stands. And man, if he should in a, sort of intersect with another one like that during the course of this afternoon, it would have a huge effect on that top 10 you're looking at right now. Only the 10 at the end of the day. The top 10 will fish on Championship Sunday. We'll see whether something like that happens. We'll take a break and come back. The Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. Selling compact pickup in America for 12 years. And it's not because we baby them. If you want to play, you need a Tacoma. At Mercury, we invested thousands of hours of engineering manpower so you can enjoy hours and hours of untapped horsepower. Introducing the all new V6 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. At Mercury, there are no limits to what we'll do to make sure you have no limits either. Introducing the all-new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories. Fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. The Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is brought to you by Power Pole, Skeeter Boats, Yamaha, and by Toyota. Big, big day here. We're taking you all the way to weigh in time. That starts at 3 p.m. Eastern in Plattsburgh, New York, on incredible Lake Champlain. It's fourth stop of the year for the 2020 Bassmaster Elite. Good tournament, tight competition, as you can see reflected in our top 10 on our leaderboard. 40 anglers are out there. Of course, uh, if you want to fish tomorrow, you got to stay there. You can see who's below the bubble, who sits barely on top of it. Canadian Jeff Gustafson, Gussie, sitting in 10th place right now. 
And it'll be some, it'll be some shuffling around before we get to 3 o'clock and some fish catching as well. They have pretty much caught them nonstop for the better part of three days. We expect more of the same this afternoon. Look Out at that water. weather. Oh, wow. Flat calm. Three days of that. Yeah. Which is That's so, if, if, if you live up there, you know summer lasts like four and a half hours up here. It's been <laughs> fantastic water. all week long on Champlain. You know, one of the things on Lake Champlain, what, a lot of people say, what, what makes this lake so unbelievable is, as far as the fishing goes, smallmouth and largemouth? It's one of the rare areas in the country where both grow equally as large in numbers. And the other side is it, 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 a ton of spawning flats where, they're, where they reproduce every single year. And whenever you, it doesn't matter what lake we go to, when you have those massive, massive flats, that's when you're going to have a great population of bass. But the grass is always the key on a lake like this. Plenty of, plenty of cover. Let's, let's go a little what? deeper, in fact. We can do that right now. We can take it out to our own Dave Mercer, and Dave is going to serve it up right now. Our Yamaha unlocked the lake, Dave. Thanks, guys. A spectacular day out here. And just as Z said, this aquatic playground, known for its incredible vegetation. I remember the first time I ever fished here on Champlain. I remember just looking in the water and I couldn't I couldn't believe how, how vibrant and green the weeds were and how healthy they were. And this may help you understand why this tournament is seeing a lot more smallmouth this time around, because the weeds if you look under the water, they're not quite looking like they did in the past. Now, don't worry. Lake Champlain is fine. It's not anything to worry about. But as those of you who know, it's been an incredibly warm and dry summer up north. If, you, if you've lived up north, you, you've experienced it. And as we said, the water's very low. So a guy like me would think, well, why isn't the weed exploding? Because you had an early spring, you got warmer water. Well, what happens in those situations is we get species that grow that normally don't grow. I mean, the water temperature got higher than it normally does this year. And what that species start to do is they start to drown out those weeds or, or darken out. You know, they, they can't get any light through to them. And it's not to worry, though. It's just a little stage we're in here. And... and if you don't believe me, I got all this information from our conservation director, Gene, director Gene. What happens now is as the water starts to cool off, those species only grow when it's really, really warm. So that starts to die off and our weeds do come back, but we're going to go through an algae bloom before that happens. And we're just hitting the lake on kind of a weird stage when it comes to the weeds. I mean, it was just such a warm, warm year. But looking under the water can answer to you why maybe smallmouth are a bigger player this time around than they have been in the past. Uh, great way to explain it from our own Dave Mercer out there. He's Look been at that all one over right the there. lake all day. That's a Hi. nice shot. Man, oh man, as Looks you say, like he's you trying say, to reconnect with his friends. <laughs> I guess that's exactly. that's what it's all about all summer long. Nice. And, and, and I think you'd agree, Z. Yeah, every lake is cyclical. It goes up and down a little bit. What distinguishes the top tiers of lakes, places like this, Lake Gunnersville, is that they remain great, even though, you know, there's those cyclical up and down years. The baseline is so good. Well, the other side is this lake is froze for about nine months of the year, which that kind of protect keeps the, the fishermen which, away. It's a little right. Bit. Yeah. But the other the other thing about the state of New York, and we talked about this earlier in the event, whenever the water is high in the state of New York especially this lake, uh, the river that we just got away from, the St. Lawrence River, it is staggering. That's crazy stuff right the there, The population boys. of largemouth that will go shallow, stay shallow the hey, entire what? summer. What you got? Good. Canterbury last year's yeah. Angler of the Year with the Bassmaster. Slow morning. Yeah, started slow. slow morning. Stayed slow for him so far. Today. Does not have a does oh not have a gosh. five bass I had limit. Him in my hand. Yeah. No. 
I just couldn't grab him. Gosh, I should have took my time with him. Number five. I got two over there. Three best ones right there. I can start culling over there. <laughs> Scott had fallen out of the top 10 pretty early on today and had gotten down there a good bit. Got to be in the top 10 at the end of today. That was a much needed uh, fifth fish right there. It puts him back in the top 10. Other side, this guy was pretty much done with his work at about 8.30 on days one and two of this tournament. Much slower. Oh, my gosh. That took forever to get five, didn't it? Looking at your 2019 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. I put a clear bait on nearly, and I've caught two on it. <laughs> I mean, they are finicky. Scott Canterbury yes, back sir. on track again, the goalpost today. That's squarely at position number 10. You've got to be in the top 10 in order to progress until tomorrow. And Scott Canterbury and, uh, really got a great start in this tournament, but it slowed down considerably this morning, and that's a good, good sign for him. He's got plenty of time to put something together and put him solidly in that top 10 and secure that place. The fish for the championship tomorrow, championship Sunday. Beautiful, beautiful late Champlain. Jamie Hartman still with the lead. He sacrificed an hour and a half downtime on the sidelines for that long, but back in action right now, Kobe Krieger moved into second place. Seth Fighter out there looking for that big largemouth to be a game changer for him for the second day in a row. Brandon Polinick, three-time champion on the Bassmaster Elite Series, moving up as well. Take a break. We'll be right back on Bassmaster Live. The Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. For over 70 years and 19 consecutive NMMA Consumer Satisfaction Awards, Skeeter continues to set the standard. And now, through October 19th, you can fall into savings with rebates of up to $1,500 on the FXR Limited, up to $2,500 on the FXR Apex, and double rebates of up to $3,000 on the ZX250. Fall into savings now through October 19th. Visit your local dealer or SkeeterBoats.com and fall into savings on the Skeeter boat of your dreams.
You're watching the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain, being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. Such a pleasure to be able to bring you live championship fishing here on your Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. Of course, we'll be back with more tomorrow on Sunday on the app starting at 8 a.m. Eastern time for three hours in the morning. Take our uh, traditional one hour break at midday. Come back noon Eastern time here on ESPN2 and take you all the way till the time for the final weigh-in when that trophy gets handed out. One of those all-important championships during the regular season of this top level of fishing in the world. App in the morning, ESPN2 in the afternoon. I think you got it. Vividly clear, Tommy Thank Sanders you. taking a look at our leaderboard right there for the Bassmaster Elite <laughs> Series here on Lake Champlain. And, and the leaderboard is starting to look eerily similar to what it was early this morning. We saw a lot more jockeying around for position but really those guys that, boy, when you cross that 18 pound barrier after two days of competition and approach a four pound average, that's what we're looking for going into Championship Sunday by the end of this day. Absolutely, you have got to be there by the end of this day. Clear. Back out to Seth Fighter, Bassmaster Live. And if you see that little Marina Harbor at the bottom of the Inland Sea, Seth has done major work here all week long. Not catching a lot in here, but a lot of them have been the right ones. But he has beat on this a little bit the last three days. Gosh darn it. Not big. I'm pretty sure I've seen like five of them sitting under that dock. None of them looked big. They all looked like this. So. Won't top his smallest a three pounder in his live well. Will not help. That is one you def. If you caught a bass like that on days one and two, you are probably headed home from this event. You had to keep bass like that. Yes. Big mover of the day is Brandon Palnick in fourth place. He's one up in New York before. He's got 19 pounds today. Jumped from 11 to oh, fourth. Fella is getting a close look right here. So what? A lot more traffic on those docks today than we saw oh, yesterday. In fact, there's a lot less boats on that dock. Yeah. Rules of the game. Of course it is. As we said, four days of fishing. 85 anglers full field we had on days one and two today. You've cut them down to 40 and only 10 will fish tomorrow. Championship Sunday, it is a five fish limit during the day. Your five heaviest fish. You can have no more than five fish in your live well while you are fishing. And heaviest four day total is gonna win the, the top prize. Very much valued championship trophy from one of these elite events. Yeah, if you don't follow one of these elite events, they have to be bass. Oh yes. We yes. have seen a lot of pike We've drum. seen a lot of drum, carp throughout this tournament. They, they're they big and they're oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. The top prize is $100,000 out of more than 700,000 payout in one of these elite events. Yeah, 100,000 doesn't, doesn't pay for carp. It's, it's bass only, you can't bass get you to that total. Right. stuff. Move down from Seth Fighter over to Tennessee's David Mullins having himself a good tournament. So far his best tournament of the year. In at seventh place right now. <clears throat> well, we uh, we called one time when we come out here. Uh, caught a three, another three something. We got all three pounders in the live well right now. And uh, have not caught a crankbait fish. Caught a bunch of walleye, a bunch of pike, but haven't caught one yet. I think we're, like I said, we're just getting into when it's supposed to start getting good. It's 12:30. Like I said yesterday from 12 to 2, it was good. And, you know, each day you kind of got to relocate them in this grass. There hasn't been one particular spot that I've just sit there and demolished them each day on. It's just you you keep keep the patrol motor on high, keep frying your batteries, and, you know, you'll you'll eventually run into them. And that's what we hope to do. But uh, so far, the crankbait bite's been a little slow. The, the one fish I caught was on a drop shot. There's a little school there called two pounder and it stayed underneath the troll motor and pitched out and caught it. And uh, that's the update so far. We're gonna keep winding and try to run into a big. And this is getting into the area yesterday. I caught some 
pretty nice ones, but again, they move every day and you gotta constantly keep uh, keep looking for them. So, you know, the water temperature is just 78 today. That's something that's worrying me about this shallow deal. Water temperatures got really high, so it's 78 now. When we started practicing here, it was 73 and it rained every day. And the only thing I'm worried about is maybe some of this heat pushed them off the flat, but we'll find out. It's either gonna push them off or it's gonna position them right. So <clears throat> that's the only thing that's bothering me right now is how hot the water's getting and small mouth tend to go deep. But we'll see. Uh, looking forward to the rest of the day. Like I said, we're just getting into the, the best time to, to fish this and hopefully we can capitalize. David Mullen sizing up the conditions out there for us. He's stuck a right at a three pound, four ounce, say, average for today. Just needs a couple of four pounders to bring that up to uh, a number that's going to have him right kind of hovering near the top at the end of it all. You know, if you're watching this tournament, never been to Lake Champlain, so you've got a hundred miles of playing field. It's something that we talked about earlier today. A lot of our anglers fishing on the north end are only fishing a, a really a 10 to 15 mile stretch, New York side and Vermont side. And you say, well, what about the other 80 miles in between, 70 miles in between? You know, we've seen tournaments dominated down at Ticonderoga in years past, but really it comes down to environment. A lot of these fish, like on that area David Mullins was on, they reproduce there, they spawn there, they have babies there, and they feed there. And really, those areas of this lake, they spend the majority of their lifetime and never leave those flats. Very plentiful, diverse forage base here. This is just one of those lakes that's been blessed in that way. They, and the, always has been. They, the smallmouth here basically swim around and eat. <laughs> nice work if you can get it. Leader Jamie Hartman, New York native. His last win was here in New York, over in the Finger Lakes. Well, I'd like to see a big one here. Thank you, Yuga. Get rid of that two pounder, he'll be near this his is tough, average dude. in the first two days. This has definitely gotten tough. No wind. No wind. I think I'm going to go the other side man to the inland and see if I can I gotta pluck one fish I gotta get a three and a half or a four is what I need I need one I don't need a bunch anymore I need one Absolutely sparkling day to day. Tomorrow different as we sparkling. look at the TH Marine Weather Watch. Thoughts today looking yes. at the TH Marine Weather Watch. What you need to look at on a lake like this or any great lakes we go to is the wind. And when you see 10 to 20, number one, you can count on that tomorrow. And it's a brutally bad direction wind because it has about, well, 80 miles to build and grow. And it's going to be a beating tomorrow. But around 10 or 11, we're going to see gusts to 30, potentially 35 miles. Here, here's the one difference, though, here compared to last week, if you okay. joined the Bassmaster uh, on Championship Sunday. Guys that were going to Lake Ontario, they took a beating. In a brutal wind. Here, yeah. Here's what's different here. It's not going to be fun getting to your areas, but there will be areas that you can get out of the wind on Champlain compared to when you go to Lake Ontario, you're in the teeth of it. Different here, there's a lot of islands, there's a lot of bays that at least you can get shelter and still do some work. Another difference, last week our guys, hard time getting to where they're going, but they could usually bunker in where they were and get their job done. Here, you gotta do a bit of moving around, right? That, that is, yeah, that's a good, good point. What's been a benefit to our weights and how high our weights and consistent our weights have been is because most of these guys could get around very, very quickly. You hear Jamie Hartman say, well, yeah. I'm just going to go to the other side. Tomorrow, no. Yeah, it, yeah absolutely. A lot longer yeah, time. It's just longer time. 
Now, is there anybody who's been fishing in protected spots, or the, these guys are going to have to seek out new ones this afternoon, maybe, for tomorrow? Seth has been fishing in very, very protected areas. Yes, Seth has. But you can also get on that north flat, like you see Kobe Krieger, David Mullins, where Seth has been starting mm -hmm. every morning. Um, you can just get out on that 10 to 20 foot flat on the New York side around Rouse's Point and fish. And you will bump, you will collide with different wolf packs of smallmouth. But the other thing about Lake Champlain compared to, if you remember the footage last week at Lake Ontario, giant waves, but they're wide waves. When you get out of Lake Ontario, they're spread apart a lot more. The waves here on Lake Champlain are stacked together. They're smaller, but they will beat you up way more when you're running. Yeah, if you try to go fast out here in situations, it's not, you, feel, you feel like you're on a severe washboard. Yes. It is constant, the, the beating. Taking a look at Kobe Krieger right here. Resides in Florida, and he has had a brutal, brutal three years, four years of bass fishing on any pro professional tour that he's been on. Well, he's got a great opportunity here, though. It's weird. The spooking bite has died this afternoon. Usually, like this, it picks up. Sunnier and the flatter the listen to the Kobe right there. If you really go off of the first two days of this event, there is a massive beat down in the morning. They are biting really strong in the morning, but generally this time of day. Every day of this tournament is when we see a lot of fish catch catches, especially the last hour of competition. Coming up right, well, we're going to make a move right now for a little bit of a special feature. It's one we like. Oh, yeah. BMW trailer hitches on the line. Good day one and two here on the water. Stetson Blaylock and Stetson. Uh, how does how is day three shaping up compared to the first two days? It's not that good. I, I just, I don't know why it's not as good. Uh, I'm still getting some bites. I've kind of bounced between deep and shallow. And uh, the first day I caught most of my fish deep. Yesterday I had to go shallow to catch most of them. And then uh, today most of them have came shallow. I've just been switching up between a, a Booyah Boss Pop and a uh, Zara Spook. And getting plenty of bites. I've had a lot of fish boil it, some, some three and a half to four pounders follow it and not eat it. And they're just really hard to get the bite after they follow that bait back to the boat. I, I don't know what's what's taking place, and I know the deep stuff is for me. It's pretty much died. I can't get hardly any bites out there. I know I know that's still happening thing, but it's just not working out for me. So I'm kind of I'm at a critical point in the day right now because I don't have I've got a five fish limit, but they're small, and I know you know I still have a chance to make the top ten, but I really you know don't want to fall for points. And uh, I've got to decide what to do for this afternoon to try to get two or three of those four-pound bites. Stetson, you have a lot of history here on Lake Champlain. For somebody that maybe does not follow the Bassmasters, you had an incredible, incredible three-day practice. What do you feel has changed? It's almost like you've had to relocate them every day of the actual tournament. Well, the fish that I was catching deep were just watching them on the on the Garmin live scope and being able to pitch a drop shot to them and those fish have completely vanished and I don't know if it's they've completely left the places or if they have just hunkered down where I can't see them on the live scope to pitch to them and I'm kind of it's kind of between those two I'm, I'm concerned that they're still there and I'm just not seeing them but I I haven't gotten many bites just fishing for them either so it's really uh it's really challenging to know what to do, uh, but those fish have kind of vanished for me. I don't know, I don't know where they went because that's been one of my better practices ever. We know it can happen fast, and you got plenty of time to get it done. So good luck, and thank you for your time right now, Stetson Blaylock, out there uh, fishing hard, fishing to try to get into that top ten.
or Stetson. A great, great year last year. His best year ever on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Uh, went to the state of South Carolina, finished second at Lake Hartwell, and then he went to this place. Exactly right. Almost won on Lake Hartwell, going to win Yabe, taking the win there. And Stetson, as young as he is, one of those anglers that we waited for one of those seasons that we got to see last year, where it was really spread consistent across the entire year. Did all his work in what was an, an acknowledged community hole, very small area, but he made it pay. First Elite Series win for Stetson Blaylock. And absolutely great year, great season. Was a big player at the end of it in the, the uh, Angler of the Year points as well. Absolutely, and he's one of those guys. You got to see Scott Canterbury win that Angler of the Year title. Look for Stetson Blaylock to put a, put a big hurt on that potentially here in the next few years. Two hours, 15 minutes of fishing time left for most of our anglers out here. Some of them a little bit more than that. Mm -hmm. Depending on how far you have to run and what flight you went out in today. Seth Viter back in his. Think they got any six pounders up there? Not over there, no. That's all I need. Oh boy. Yeah. Damn, bro. Coming in hot. Mm hmm. He's from Syracuse. Oh, no. Here. I like Syracuse. Here now. Oh, boy. I like Syracuse. Hey, he might not like that guy, it. though. Yeah. It's Saturday. Yeah. Sparkling Saturday. Not too many great summer days like this, but what a great summer destination. One of America's original vacation destinations. Lake Champlain between the Adirondacks and the Green Mountains of Vermont. Yeah, yeah. That all got to right. somehow work it out and live together. No <laughs> doubt about it. You know what? That guy, need, Seth needs a Vermont teddy bear is what he needs that's right, right now. Right now at this point, we'll be back with more fishing because that's what you need right here on Bassmaster Live. The Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. I'm pro anger Andy Montgomery. I've been making my living with Strike King products for a long time. So when they showed me the new tour grade line, I was all in. I knew I could trust it. What I didn't know was how easy it was to use. With the spooling tool and the prepaid envelope to recycle your old line included in every single box. Not only is it the best line on the market, it gives you the easiest fishing experience possible. Find out more at StrikeKing.com. Introducing the Bash U TV app. Get the most out of your Bash U TV subscription and learn on the go with the Bash U TV app. Unlimited access to 700 plus training videos. Multiple new releases each week, including seminars, on-water videos, live shows, interviews, and other original content. The Bash U TV app, never stop learning. In the wild, nature dictates that when it's time to eat, animals will instinctively find and devour the meal that satisfies them most. In the water, Berkeley Powerbait's scientifically proven formula triggers the natural predatory instinct in bass. Now available in a plethora of shapes, sizes, and colors. Berkeley Powerbait. Fish bite and won't let go.
You're watching the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain, being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. 40 guys out there on the water on Lake Champlain right now. You guys fishing very hard to make it to tomorrow. The top 10 will fish for the championship. Fishing to make points. Points which will qualify them for the world championship. The Bassmaster Classic and that all-important points race, year-long consistency race called Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Jamie Hartman, our tournament leader, also the tournament in uh, the, the, the leader in that points race right now. And right behind him, Scott Canterbury, last year's champion. Of course, up until we got up here to New York, he was the leader so far in 2020 at that point, but had fallen out of the lead, not by a lot, and he's right up right up behind Jamie Hartman. He's, he's defending his champion. He's been the dominant figure consistency-wise in the world of bass fishing for about the last 16, 18 months. No doubt about that. Slipped up a little bit at the St. Lawrence River event last week and said he knew he was going to have a rough go. Well, that is exactly what happened. Rebounding here on Lake Champlain, getting out on the water right now with Scott Canterbury. Hooked up. That's a big one. Oh, I ain't that big. I thought it was a big one. He'll help. He's around all that bait. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a giant for a minute. Scott Canterbury doing the majority of his work. Almost all of it this week in the Inland Sea where if you kind of go off of history on this lake. He is drilling now. I loosened it up a little bit. Yeah, he's three and a half or so, I think. Going off the history of Lake Champlain, a lot of the better than average size smallmouth stringers this time of right year on come on you that Vermont to side. Get up here. Yeah, that's I see him right there. I can see him down there 10 foot deep right now. I just want him tired. I want him tired. Yeah, he's a good one. Yes, sir. Solid one there for Canterbury. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. I got him. He's not a four. Got that one in the boat. That one's going to help. He's back into the top ten. Things are good for the moment for Scott Canterbury, and they have been good for a good long while. Many months, more than a year now, Scott Canterbury started down in Florida on the St. John's River and just never let up, really, especially when he came up here. He was, his question mark was, could he... Could he excel in a smallmouth environment in the north? He could. And if you really look at the history of the Bassmaster Tournament Trail, the Bassmaster Classic is the Super Bowl of bass fishing, always has been. But if you talk to these anglers winning that title, the Angler of the Year trophy, they'll tell you against their competition, that is a bigger trophy among your competitors. And you nailed it, Tommy Sanders. Scott Canterbury from Alabama, he did the work where he was supposed to down south but it's when he came north is where he showed us his true versatility. A great season of decision making, a great season of execution. You can see this guy lose a bunch of fish at the side of the boat. No. You don't do that and, and come out with that trophy at the end of the year. It's just, a, it's been a, a grind, like the toughest day I could ever imagine. But uh, it's getting a little better. We finally caught five and coiled one. Back on the same area I started, I ran to the other end of the Inland Sea and
caught my biggest one, but I only had one up there. I mean, I don't, it's been a super tough day for me, like extremely tough, but uh, I don't need, but if I could get two, two really good ones, like two in that, um, you know, four and a quarter or four and a half like I had yesterday, I'll have a good bag. So, I still got almost two hours, plenty of time. I said it all day, plenty of time. I just gotta grind it out. It's been, it's been brutal. Uh, a lot of local boats being on a Saturday out fishing some of the same stuff, so I'm sure it's happened to everybody. There's so many fish in here. I, they just hadn't bit today. I mean, I changed over, I've tried, I mean, I've been catching them on two or three different baits. And I, I mean, I haven't caught a fish today on a, you know, a, uh, the max scent flatworm. I've caught some on it this week. I hadn't caught a fish on it. I've been catching them on a stumpy, which is another net bait product from that. And uh, I had to go to a really, really clear color. I don't know if that's fishing pressure in this area or what because I've been catching them on either a, a real bright white or a dark like a, and then I caught some on a they call it a, like a naked perch it's really like a chartreuse looking bait and they, they won't touch it today either so uh, it's been to say the least it's been a tough day there's a bite there be a big one be a big one. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. No. No, I think it's just a two pounder. I seen him. They're all so strong. They're like little missiles down there. They're so fast. I'm pulling on him pretty hard. That's yeah, a two pounder. He won't help. There's the stuff. See that? All that bait that they're spitting up and stuff. I can't reach him. I'm trying to get back out there. Just a two pounder. But they're spitting up a bunch of stuff, and that's what's been happening this week. I'm, when they go to eat, and they're spitting up perch and crawfish, my live wells have been full of orange pinchers this week. I mean, every day I've had to clean my screens off, and uh, the whole bottom of the live well just be full of orange pinchers and stuff, crawfish. So I don't know. They finally started biting a little bit, though. Can't get them to hit a tube. I mean, I caught big ones on a tube yesterday, and that's not happening, so I've, I've debated on just throwing it, taking a chance, try to catch a big one, but I can't get bit. Scott Canterbury doing a good job of uh, sort of drawing us a picture of what's good going stuff. on on the lake today. Very good stuff from Scott Canterbury. And I think our anglers have become a little bit spoiled with the fish catching here. Oh, yeah. on Lake Champlain because it's going to be a lot more of a grind as our season wears on. It's got Canterbury fished his way back into that race just 15 points behind our leader Jamie Harton who's also the leader of the tournament incidentally in the top 10. It's like his second Western ever State. missed cut last week at the St. Lawrence wow. with the elites. Day's been uh, decent. I've, I've done what I've wanted to do and, and now I'm just looking for that one big kicker fish. Um, I'm about 50 yards from where I seen a six pounder yesterday. So I'm just kind of working my way up here. And it's on a little isolated piece of structure. So we'll see, but uh, I've got two, two real good small mouths. Um, and the, the other ones are all, all three plus. So I got sitting right at about uh, 18 pounds, I think, 18 something. So one, one more big bite should, uh, should put me in the cut for tomorrow. Corey Johnston, the brother of Chris Johnston. It's been Johnston. a pretty slow day though. I mean, I beat, 
beat my stuff up pretty good. Winner of last Tried week's a little tournament. Bit of new stuff. That wasn't really happening. He's a long pauser. <laughs> yeah, he does. Should he gives you some pauses. He's home. Good fisherman. We were in the boat with him pretty much every yes, day last week is. at the St. Lawrence River. And a little rough start, rocky start to his season. He's just, just outside that uh, classic cutoff number right now. You go ahead and book him to get up He's inside that cut before too much longer. Dangerous, dangerous smallmouth fisherman, but equally as good fishing for largemouth, especially when they're in vegetation. Big time player and you see him looking in the water if he gets to use his eyes if they get creeping around shallow that is in his wheelhouse. Yeah, we saw that last week for sure on the river at the St. Lawrence River. We are on Lake Champlain right now. Gorgeous place. Jamie Hartman, New York native, trying to win his third Bassmaster Elite Series event in the past year and a half. It's a big story right there and the story right on top of our leaderboard. Kobe Krieger after a long drought. Having his best tournament in a good long while. Gibbon Chase along with Seth Fider. Good stories working and we'll stay on top of it. We'll take a break right now and be right back on Bassmaster Live. The Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. yet but you will when I'm on the road for work or for fun I always like to have a reliable generator around this open frame inverter from champion is ideal because it's lighter than a standard open frame generator and more affordable than a traditional inverter the remote start helps me start up the generator or shut it off without having to leave my camper it provides essential power for things like charging my boat batteries. Also makes life a lot more comfortable for myself and my family. It's been said that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at work. Getting you to that fishing spot is key. And Bully Dog gets your truck road ready. No matter where, we give you the horsepower and towing torque right when you need it. We make getting there better. Make your ride a bully dog. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Mercury, go boldly. Watching the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain, being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. After we're done here, our NBA quadruple header continues. Jazz and Thunder over on ESPN at 3.30 Eastern, 12.30 Pacific, followed by Pelicans, Clippers, and finally, it's Lakers, Raptors, all three games on ESPN and the ESPN app. Quadruple days, that's a scheme for every one of our Bassmaster Elite Series events. Four days of fishing, we're definitely in the second half, the final half of the third day here, the critical, crucial third day. Got to be on that list. You got to be in the top 10 after the weigh-in has completed. Weigh-in starting at 3 p.m. Eastern time. 
Plattsburgh, New York. Jamie Hartman with the lead as he has been 90% of the time today, that is for sure. More than half the time over the last two days. I'm trying to go wire to wire in this thing, Jamie Hartman. That would be an Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, it that's is a Saturday big... on Champlain. Moving on out. Getting it. Yeah. Cutting a rug a little bit on the old pontoon boat. You will not see that pontoon out tomorrow with the <laughs> forecast. <laughs> no, it would I look. I promise. That would look like our friend Dave Mercer's Ooh, hey description now. of what's going to be like tomorrow. A monster truck look to all the, the boat activity. We had better keep our eyes on Corey Johnston said. He got to visually see some big fish yesterday. Talk to Corey Johnston live. Well, you see him always looking. Still has a two and a half pounder he'd like to get rid of. I don't think he has one in there. Two and a half pounds. From what we saw earlier this morning, those are all unofficial weights in his live well. Yeah. Well, it's a decent one. I don't know if he'll help. No. Yeah, if he doesn't help, he's, he's better than 17. Yes, yeah. that is. 17.3. Over two days of competition, he's caught an even mix. Five really? smallmouth, five largemouth. Okay. It's interesting. Closest well, this one's to, gonna help or not. Closest to even as anyone. And, and really looking, hey, looking at you see Kobe Krieger actually leaving his smallmouth area. But oh, oh yeah. There. Thank you, Lord. Stay hooked up. Please stay hooked up, baby. Need this one bad, brother. Need this one bad. Oh yeah, come on here, baby. Come on here. Mm. Need this one really bad. Yes, thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Yeah. Woo. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, spy bait. <laughs> thank you. Does that fish really help him? That's unbelievable right there, baby. It does only by ounces. Like right. ounces. He's got just under a three and a half, or that's his smallest. Three eight. If it does. It's three bite. eight. That's one ounce. Wow. There's one one eight. It's a game of ounces here. You're if right. it is anywhere. And hey, where you see oh, Kobe no. Krieger, the to Jamie Hartman, they're they're literally within a couple hundred yards to a bit. that close. Yeah, Jamie Hartman is actually in the gut, which is. The gut is, is the name of that area that divides New York and Vermont. Jimmy Hartman's east of where Kobe is. There Kobe, been, Kobe's on the bridge from the main correct. lake to go to where to go, he is. Exactly. To then if you go okay. through there, that's the inland sea. And there has been tens of thousands of bass caught in that 100-yard stretch in between Jamie Hartman and Kobe Krieger. Uh, and here's the thing, from the bank, Every time that you go by oh, where Kobe yeah. caught that fish, that is probably the most popular local from the bank fishing spot. No kidding. Yes. Every morning there is a small circus that goes on That's right fantastic. there. Fantastic. Jamie Hartman looking on the constant parade of he, he of really traffic is. out there. Traffic. Oh my gosh, it oh just never stops just here. He's running right by it. Not knowing there's big rocks sticking out right there. I mean, he was only a couple feet off of them rocks that I can see right there. Qualified captain is what's going on <laughs> <Yeah>. out there. <laughs> there's thousands of them out today. One of them days.
Z, we had a fan ask, do you think because Ticonderoga has struggled the last few years to put out fish, tournaments I'm haven't so been launching down there? They've caught them this morning. If they've been in Plattsburgh, do you I'll think that's why a lot of fish being taken no, from Ty up there? No, I, I don't believe that in no, all honesty. Caught them um, fish I think early this morning. And now I don't have to stress stress as much. Get to that one second run. Talking about stress and, and the the being thankful for the what? lack of stress. I want to win this sucker. One guy who's dealt with all that exact type of stress in, in all its manifestations is our own former classic champ, two time angler of the year, Davey Height, out there today. We're going to get a chance to join up with Davey right now. Davey. Man, stress is stress is real out here. Fishing is fun, but the stress of fishing at this level is real. It really is, Tommy, and, and I just want to talk about that a little bit. People that aren't familiar with our sport, uh, this is a four-day event, and you know that we just spent uh, the previous week up on Lake Ontario, the St. Lawrence River, with a lot of rough water. So you're going to have some issues, some mechanical issues. It's just the the nature of our sport. But the worst thing that can happen to a angler like Jamie Hartman when he's leading the event is to have issues because time is so precious. And especially today because the forecast for tomorrow, you know that you're not gonna be able to move around. You need to try to build a lead. And then when he had those issues today uh, and missed an hour and a half on the water, it's, it's, like, it's like in football throwing a pick six. It's like in basketball missing your last five three-pointers. I mean, mentally, you could lose it. And I was able to watch Jamie Hartman for about an hour. Uh, and and he is, he's doing well. He, he really is, and, and he's got time. But it would have been real easy for him to just spin out. We've seen anglers do it before. I've been in that situation. Uh, I won an Elite Series tournament on Pickwick. Day three, I had an issue. I missed about an hour, hour and a half. I, I, I know I've been there, done that kind of deal. It's real easy to lose your composure. But he's done a good job. And I just want to say that win, lose, or draw, Jamie Hartman has handled this controversy very well. Davey, he has done the majority of his damage really the first um, first day also in an area that is very susceptible to getting pounded by wind tomorrow. Uh, do you think that he's going to have to make a massive adjustment with the forecast that's coming? Yeah, uh, good question, Z. A forecast is a forecast. I you know, I've looked at it. I mean, they might have a little bit of time tomorrow morning where it's not so bad. Jamie Hartman throwing a, a Carolina rig with a one ounce sinker. You know, that's something you can do in the wind if you can stay on your spot. We just have to see, but it's going to be so critical how quick that, you know, 20 to 30 mile an hour gust, if that stuff gets here and it's there in the morning when they take off, it's going to change everything. That's why I think it's so important this afternoon for these guys to bear down. You know, we saw a Seth fighter that was shaking fish off yesterday at this time. Today, they need to be set and hooked every single fish. And, and one other thing, some of the anglers that are seeing fish follow today that they haven't been doing that, you know, those groups of fish, once you take one of their buddies away, you come back to that area the next day to fish there, and you see those fish following your bait. They're not so easy to trick the day after a All right, David, just a little break up at the end. Thanks so much to David. We got the gist of that from the guy who has been there and experienced that stress, not just not just once or twice, but a lot during his great career. And to fill in what he was talking about, we talked about that earlier in this event. A lot of the smallmouth fisheries that we go to, you catch your five bass limit, you upgrade, you call and blah, blah, blah. You go back the next day and you do it again. Here, what's weird on Lake Champlain to any other smallmouth fishery I've been to, when you kidnap five of their friends and take them to the weigh-in, they get in a very, the shallower ones, really the, the 10 feet and shallower smallmouth on this lake, they get in a very bad mood. They'll show themselves, but not necessarily bite. Not be More compliant. so here than anywhere else I've been. Great stuff out there, Jamie Hartman, dealing with that and a whole lot more, wow. including a lot of traffic. But all eyes on Jamie Hartman, not just as the leader in the Angler of the Year points race, but as the leader of our tournament, in fact, trying to go wire to wire, Jamie Hartman, a New Yorker, getting it done in New York.
the pride of Newport, New York, two-time Elite Series champion, Jamie the Hammer Hartman, is once again leading in his home state. It'll be a lot of fun to watch this battle continue. UNSF fighter trading blows day after day. It took all the way to the last two hours to do it, so, but hey, we keep on grinding, and uh, I hope I didn't burn them all up. Mm -hmm. Jamie Hartman came out here in 2016 and almost pulled it off in his very first tournament on Cherokee Lake. Yeah. That dog was cute as a bug was he in not that run of adorable. Just Absolutely. going right through the gut, having a T-I-M-E. No doubt Said about nobody that. ever on ESPN2. <laughs> We're having a time today, a good time, too. Live bass fishing, how can you beat that on a Saturday afternoon? Jamie Hartman of New York, originally from New York, now living in Arkansas. As we say, getting it done in his home state. Trying to go wire to wire. We'll be back with more after this. The Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories. Fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. invested thousands of hours of engineering manpower so you can enjoy hours and hours of untapped horsepower. Introducing the all-new V6 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. At Mercury, there are no limits to what we'll do to make sure you have no limits either. Introducing the all-new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. You're watching the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain, being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. Well, just a little more than an hour and a half's time left for fishing here on gorgeous Lake Champlain. Lake Champlain, a fishing, an iconic fishing lake in all, all of the United States here. And there's head to weigh in at 3 p.m. up in Plattsburgh, New York, our fantastic host city. Traditionally, always been our host city at this great destination, Jamie Hartman. Had the lead for a long, long time. The trouble is, he caught his last keeper, good keeper, too, several hours ago. A uh, long that's while ago. Where this Four. stress we talk about <laughs> four hours ago. Where the stress comes from right now, especially when you're trying to win a tournament wire to wire. Uh oh. Oof. Oh boy. Yeah, oh boy. Trying day. I did it. I did what I was dreading. I broke the leader, and that was 100% a bass. I broke the leader. I had an ugly, ugly feeling that that was gonna happen when I got a bite. Don't ask me why, but he had popped it real hard and started going right out with it. And I broke the freaking leader. Mm. I had such a bad feeling. I don't know why. I cannot believe that just happened. 
taking a look at Jamie Hartman. You see the Inland Sea behind him in that graphic. Actually, going to make a correction. Kobe Krieger was in the cut through north of where Jamie Hartman was. Oh. Apologize for that. Yep. Actually, the cut through that goes through Kerry Bay and Missaquoi and all that. Isla Mote, yeah, and yeah. it's, it's yes. the one that's from um, the north part of uh, Roish's or whatever. I forgot his name. Yeah. Yes. Roush. First time seeing the wheels itchy, He's scratchy being tested right today. now with Jamie Hartman. Being tested today. First look today at, uh, at Lofgren. Actually, actually, we did get to, to speak with Ed early, early on today. It's been uh, rough some service. slack time and, and some good times out there for him. Currently back up into the top ten, so Very he's getting consistent. it done. Getting Very it done. consistent. You want an update? Okay. Um, it's been a tough day today. I'm not getting a lot of bites. I've got decent bites, but I still need a big fish. I need something over four pounds. I just simply don't have it. Um, it's been a struggle all day. I think I caught my first fish maybe around 10 o'clock, and it really hasn't gotten any easier. I've just been bouncing around spots, catching one here, one there. I think I've only had seven keepers today. Um, it's drastically different for me today than it was yesterday. Yesterday was just one of those dream days where everything was easy. Today, it's not that way. So I'm just gonna keep plugging along for the next uh, hour and a half and see if I can run into a, a four pounder somewhere. We've had a little sketchy service with Ed today. 50 year old is attempting to get into the top 10 for the very first time in the Elite Series. Yes, wow. yes. Wow. Second Got a year top out 10 here. in the Open. Oh, he needs to reconnect with his friends here. Well, Nick, come on. He well, started today honest. in fifth place, but only 11 ounces out of 11th. Not only a pro angler, but a practicing yes. attorney in Washington, D.C. He may well be in court working on Monday, come Monday. If he can get back in time. going to sue you for slander when you. Oh, terrible. He is? <laughs> Ed's a good guy. He had his best career Elite Series finish at Cayuga last year. Upstate New York as well. I believe that was a top 15, maybe yes. like 11th or 12th. Barely missed the top 10 there. That event, he actually had almost all of his rods stolen out of his boat. That event, he still managed to do his wow. best career finish. He's looking good today, though. He's uh, about <laughs> oh, three boy. pounds inside. <laughs> I want to hang with Jamie Hartman a little more. It's starting to look like the scene on the water from Caddyshack. Yeah, I, I just, yeah. I think one of those big old party boats is just going to mm -hmm. stop, pull up next to him and stop and start yes. fishing. I'd like to see Ed catch one more, just like he said he'd like to do. He's not had a bad day. He's up <laughs> above 17 pounds. Fishing pounds. right outside of Lappins Bay. Lappins Bay. Some pronounce it Lapons. Jimmy Hartman made a few big calls off that day marker. That big concrete embutment where he broke that fish off on day one. We're going to see him get into the Inland Sea on the Vermont side. and He has had enough of that circus. Z, a question for you. <laughs> Why haven't we seen Mallets Bay play? It has a lot of marinas, grass as well, and it's protected yeah, just like the lower uh, end of the Inland Sea. I'll be I, I really thought the mouth the the cut through going yep. into Mallets Bay, you always see somebody catch him there. It's been very slow this time around. The other thing about Mallets is a lot of that shallow shallow grass in there, on normal, yeah. stable water yep. is three to five feet. A lot of that is like twelve inches right now. Yeah. Very very shallow and probably chalked up uh, to the surface completely because it's low. Back up to Kobe Krieger. Kobe Krieger not going away in this tournament. Mm -mm. A follower and a blow up. Nothing to show from it except for a bad taste in my mouth. Can you see if you don't follow the Bassmasters what he's doing with that rod tip? If we could get mm -hmm. a close up of that bait. Makes that bait walk just back and forth and back and forth. The great thing about that bait, it catches big ones. The bad thing about that bait, we were talking about it earlier, they have real bad Come aim. Come on, big boy. They have real Four bad aim on that you. bait. The fish. The fish. You will you will 
see some big ones, but you will definitely lose some big ones. Krieger definitely has the most diverse approach compared to everyone else in the field. Him sticking with two topwaters, and he just caught one on a spy bait. Yes. Two things we haven't really seen people lock in their hands. Heading to Lake St. Clair next on the Bassmaster Elite Series in a few weeks. Colby kind of grew up fishing a lot of regional tournaments there, then moving to other national events that have come to St. Clair. And kind of a mixed outcome for a lot of those tournaments with Colby. But there will be a certain region of that tournament where Colby's done a lot of work that time of year. Looking Been forward successful. to that one. Yeah. Yes. Come on, big boy. I'm going to be on the water, Tommy. I know you are. Yes, sir. They get some sports going in Unless Detroit. Having a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't, yeah, don't do that. We don't want you to get wet or anything. Davey Height made the comment that there was going to be a lot of, a lot of boat traffic today on Lake Champlain, and that has oh. definitely been the case. They have treated our friend Jamie Hartman to just a, a cavalcade yeah, of boat absolutely. traffic today. See some work getting done on the drawbridge right there. As you see, that, that's the entrance into the inland sea of Lake Champlain. Some commercial traffic on the lake, a lot of sailboat traffic. That's probably why that uh, drawbridge is there. There's been a lot of fish caught right where his boat's going through right there throughout the decades competition on Lake Champlain. Now this move yesterday paid big dividends for Jamie Hartman. He made two really, is that Mercer and Davey? No, 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 no. it's not. I understand, understandable mistake, but no. It looks like they're having a great time. No, they usually are. Love jet skis. Yeah. He is in a mood. You <laughs> can, he is in a I feel like I just want to grab a damn six-pack and uh, <laughs> start the party. With you. That's the first time he smiled in hours, though. That is great. <laughs> Making light of the situation. He's so not happy. Oh, Jamie Hartman, our leader. Absolutely. Maintaining a good, uh, not a huge one, but a good margin ahead of Kobe Krieger. Right now, Seth Fighter haven't, he hasn't struck in a while. Seth Fighter may be due to intersect with another big large mouth Brandon Polnick making a big move up the leaderboard today putting himself in position who else is going to be putting themselves in position before we're all done we'll take a break come right back the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats Breaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Mercury, go boldly.
over 70 years and 19 consecutive NMMA Consumer Satisfaction Awards, Skeeter continues to set the standard. And now, through October 19th, you can fall into savings with rebates of up to $1,500 on the FXR Limited, up to $2,500 on the FXR Apex, and double rebates of up to $3,000 on the ZX250. Fall into savings now through October 19th. Visit your local dealer or SkeeterBoats.com and fall into savings on the Skeeter boat of your dreams. The Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is brought to you by Humminbird, Mercury, Minn Kota, and by Talon. Lake Champlain, a great lake, not one of the great lakes, that collection of lakes, many the great lakes, but it's, it is a great place to go bass fishing, yes. and it is massive, uh, like many of our great lakes. Jamie Hartman, from right here in the state of New York, originally, still leading our tournament. Jamie Hartman has been, uh, well, we say, been tested a little more today than he has been before, but uh, the big test for all these anglers out there in the water today is be in the top 10. Only the top 10 fish tomorrow. You see Micah Frazier in that area. Right on top of that bubble right there. Now below the bubble is Jeff Gustafson, Canada, Paul Mueller, who's won already this season. Paku Ido as well. Got a shot at moving up in there and fishing on the final day again. You know, you told me that there's going to be a quad NBA matchup coming. Can yes, I, I did. Can I serve you something back? Please do. ESPNHouse.com starting tonight at 5, 10 p.m. Eastern. How about a performance by Tommy Lee? All right. So yeah, excited. Uh, yeah. yeah, to say the least. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. it's a big weekend for entertainment that's now. Right. Uh, that's uh, that's st starting to become very plain, very obvious. Back out to court, <laughs> Corby Krieger. Gosh dang, I got a big one. I got a big one. Mm, baby, dude. Oh, I think he's a big one. His file hooked. Might be why, oh, why, why, might be why I think he's so big. Yep, he ain't big. He was, he was jacked under the jaw or something. Who knows? I've been wrong all day. He may help. Don't know. Hope we get to find out. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. We're gonna find out. Kobe's already hooked himself gonna... one time today. Yeah. He was hooked under the chin, so when he was he was walking up there sort of sideways, he looked like a four pounder. Gotta be three seven to mess with. I don't, I don't think he's gonna be three seven. Oh. Negative. Mm -mm. Nope. 211. Oh. Three pounder. Yeah. Three pounder. Three hours ago, I would have been begging for you. All right. That was about a hot mess when he landed nah. that fish. He's seen a lot <laughs> like that this week. Yeah. And, 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 as you pointed out, he'd, he'd shown us one already today, a, a pretty chaotic time there in the old front deck of the boat. Bassmasters on Lake Champlain, ESPNHouse.com, plus Tommy Lee. Everything's going right for the weekend. That's right. right exactly. Everything's the plan is exactly. coming together. Exactly hey, we're right. so glad you're with us here on Bassmaster Live. We got about an hour and a half's fishing time left, but we got a lot more to think about. We're thinking about that top ten. We're thinking about Jamie Hartman trying to go wire to wire. And we're thinking about the screen of knowledge as run by our friend 
Well, Ron Moore, and we're going to talk about Rapala Fantasy Fishing. Yes, exactly, Tommy. We wanted to talk about Rapala Bassmaster Fantasy Fishing. We are two and a half, two and three quarter days through this four day event. So the guys are trying to make it the top 40 fishing today to make it to the final 10, which fish for $100,000 tomorrow. And in Fantasy Fishing, if your team can make that final day, if you have a couple anglers fishing out of the top 10, that will help your uh, point output greatly. I uh, wanted to talk about the day one and day two comparison, though. This place, Champlain, one of the gyms in the country for professional bass fishing. The equality day to day, like it's literally spot on. It looks like it's the same exact stats because most times they line up that way. Almost the same amount of limits per day. The average size fish exactly the same, three pounds, five ounces. The big bass just a few ounces off. The big bag only one ounce off. The cut line almost doubled exactly, which is uh, standard for this place. It doesn't go down daily. It normally stays pretty consistent. And same with the 20 pound limits, very similar. When it comes to fantasy fishing, these two guys, Seth Fighter on your right and Jamie Hartman right here. Number one, number two after day two weigh in yesterday. They are two of the most picked people in Rappel of Bassmaster Fantasy Fishing, rightfully so. A couple of the guys down here missed the cut. Greg De Palma, Lee Livesey missed the cut. Chris Johnson is trying to make that top 10 today. I believe Hartman and Fighter are a lock, will be contenders for the win. The guy we just saw, Kobe Krieger, he was the fourth highest guy in bucket E. So whoever picked him, the 6% of Fantasy Fishing players that picked him, they're really happy that he's making yes. a charge today. Yes. He's going to stay in contention with the topwater bait in his hand. So that's how it lines out. We will see more at today's weigh-in. And, and whoever's team makes it to tomorrow, has three or four guys fishing, they will be able to be the top team overall this week. Who's All been right. the biggest fantasy fishing letdown this week for our players? I would honestly say uh, somebody like Ali Livesey. 37%, over a third of the people picked him. 65th out of 85 this week. Not a great event, not a great season for Lee so far, but a lot of these lakes later in the season are going to go right towards his wheelhouse. Uh -huh. right. Great fantasy info, great to fish population, fish catch info. It's like a it's like a it's like a scientific report. It's it's stats from the lake, not not to be dismissed. And what it's telling us we have a very homogenous, at least weight-wise, fishing population out here. So many who are exactly the same size. I think either one of them help me. Among a catchable population. But why? There's one that would. Well, Kobe's seen a Kobe's seen a lot of fish cruising in shallow. He's the one coming right there. I've only seen two truly large bass this week. Brian Schmidt's day one, Either. six pound two ounce from yesterday. Seth Fighter's six pound six ounce. Right. These are Phoenix Boats big bass. Dude, they were. He, make a big difference to any one of these guys today. It. You gotta be kidding me. The one's a big one. I don't know if the big one ate it or the little one because they both went charging after it like two banshees. Well, there's always something happening in that boat. They gotta be still out there. <laughs> Kobe is working hard and listen to him breathe it. His breathing is like, no, is it's like double time. It. It yeah, yeah. Duly noted. Hartman's adrenaline gets going too. Unbelievable. He's got a fish on the line. Three of them now on a wacky rig I missed. How's that even possible? Can somebody please explain that to me? Crazy. One and two, Hartman and Krieger. I think they was coming for that, the noise of that spook. They was following it. I think that's where they we're coming from. Where'd they go? You want a sweet stat? Please. Kobe was actually a, uh, a punter? Punter. Really? In college. Yes. Huh. In college? Would yes. you go to college in Michigan? That, I, look, I can only provide that, that he was I, a punter. I got it, I got it. He was in a football? In yes. In football? Oh, okay. Yes. World can you miss him? In, in the football game. Such. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Kind of funny though.
Now listen, this here is what's not fair. <laughs> I mean, really? Good night. And then it's swallowed. That's crazy right there, boys. Mm. I pulled up on the wrong side, thinking I was pulling up on the right side. Fishing Six the incher wing. eats it, swallows it. A three and a half, four pounder steals my worm. That ain't right, it ain't fair. if Kobe knows he's in second place. He's just a pound and a half. Probably does not know that, but he knows that he's up there. He's right up there. He is enjoying the moment here. He's, he's savoring this moment. Oh, we well don't get too many needed. days yes. like this, and he is absolutely doing it, and he should. He should enjoy it. He should savor it while, while bearing down and trying to get to the top as hard as he can. And Kobe Krieger, guy who here in New York, you know, in Lake Champlain, has made the right decisions this week. There's a big Good golly, did you see that one? Yes. Yes. Another good day today, Kobe Krieger. For some reason, I made all the right decisions. Uh, everything worked out good today, and we'll see what tomorrow brings. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. Yes. Four more of these, baby. Yes. Come on, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All eyes on Kobe, all eyes on Jamie Hartman. Got a good race at the top there. Not too much separating them. A pound and a half. Although in this place, that's not insignificant. We will say that. Seth Fighter about due for another one right yes. now. Brandon Polinick has been uh, overperforming today. Absolutely doing great out there. Corey Johnston, we got to spend some time with him. And got the feeling that he's going to blow up at any second as well. So what is on the way? In the next hour and 15, 20 minutes here on Bassmaster Live. The Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. This reel allows you to cover more water, make more casts, giving you more opportunities to catch more fish. The new Revo Rocket, Abu Garcia for life. It's been said that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at work. Getting you to that fishing spot is key. And Bully Dog gets your truck road ready. No matter where, we give you the horsepower and towing torque right when you need it. We make getting there better. Make your ride a Bully Dog. Introducing the Bash U TV app. Get the most out of your Bashu TV subscription and learn on the go with the Bashu TV app. Unlimited access to 700 plus training videos. Multiple new releases each week, including seminars, on-water videos, live shows, interviews, and other original content. The Bashu TV app, never stop learning. I'm pro anger Andy Montgomery. I've been making my living with Strike King products for a long time. So when they showed me the new Tour Grade line, I was all in. I knew I could trust it. What I didn't know was how easy it was to use. With the spooling tool and the prepaid envelope to recycle your old line included in every single box. Not only is it the best line on the market, it gives you the easiest fishing experience possible. Find out more at StrikeKing.com.
You're watching the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain, being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. Getting back out on Lake Champlain, some beautiful scenes from this gorgeous area to look at. Tomorrow, more of the same, and bass fishing at the very highest level on Championship Sunday. Starts on the app at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. We'll go for three hours, take a one-hour break, and then at noon Eastern Time, right back here on ESPN2, taking you all the way to weigh in time. Uh -huh. a very important day. Very important day, regular season events. Winds are, you can be a great fisherman all your life and not collect one. That's how tough it can be out here. Some of them have won multiple times. Jamie Hartman won multiple times in a single season, that being last year. In 2019, Kobe Krieger still looking for his first Elite Series win. Hey, big hats off. Big comeback today with Brandon Polinick. Oh, man, good slow job by Brandon. Yesterday. Well, you call, you call an 18-pound day a slow day, but <laughs> big, big comeback. The cut line, that cut line right now, Matt Airy, the man on top of the bubble, Jeff Gustafson right below. That is the job one. The main job today, get in the top 10, and you have a chance at the championship tomorrow. Only 10 fishing on Championship Sunday. Going to get out to Jamie Hartman right now. One thing I want to say about tomorrow on that forecast is coming. I fished a lot of derbies out here. Those deep ones in the Inland Sea have a big tendency to bite. Really? On a south wind. Very big. Really? Yes. What's going on this afternoon? The bite seems to have slowed to a crawl. I think these fish have knocked, the, uh, these anglers have knocked these fish's lights out for two days. <laughs> they have, and yeah. I think a changing condition is really going to help some guys tomorrow. Uh-oh. Could be the one he needs. Not gonna help, Jamie Hartman. Ain't nobody got time for you. Smallest is a two pounder. If he gets one of those four plus, he's he's about where he was the first two days, near 20 pounds. Trying day, no doubt, but he's, you know, knocking on that 18 to 19 pound stringer, Jamie Hartman is. And Such, you are a fact machine, a fact wizard. Kobe Krieger, Indiana State punter. College punter? Yes. Oh, did yes. he, was he back at Indiana State when Larry Bird was there? Or? I, I, look, <laughs> one fact at a time, friends. For those people who are probably just joining us this weekend that may have not tuned in Thursday and Friday of this event, this is day three of a four day event, and this has <clears> been a back and forth every time somebody catches one and maybe looks like they're going to take a lead someone counters back yes. and it's been close 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 so everyone in the top 10 that makes it tomorrow will be within one of the right sized bass from winning a hundred thousand or dropping to 10th it's going to be that tight which is exactly what you'd want going into the a final round of a right. championship of a sport right. you know it's the fourth quarter and you're going in and there's a everybody's scoring and you're within one point We've seen a runaway here years ago when uh, Angler went to the dock and had pizza. That's right. We did. Long time ago down in uh, Ticonderoga. When the bass used to live there. Just kidding. Good look at the bottom right there. Tommy, what is that? What is that object? Is that a handsaw? Some kind of wrench? It looks like a, uh, oh, it looked like one of those Boca grips, like type of. Yeah, yeah, like Boca, yeah. Boca pliers. Scale kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I'm really surprised we haven't heard 
some kind of important shot come from Seth Fighter. I was thinking it's, the same it's thing. It's got to happen in the next 45 minutes for him. Before we went to commercial break, it's been very quiet for Seth Fighter. And Seth Fighter did a lot of damage in St. Albans Bay the last time around, somewhere that we saw Brian Schmidt start this event. Mm -hmm. We've never seen Seth Fighter go into St. Albans Bay in the Inland Sea uh, the entire event so far. And I thought that'd be a part of his game. Kobe Krieger, Jamie Hartman, we do go right now. Have a look in on Seth Fighter. Two Bassmaster Elite Series wins for him, both of them in a postseason environment, less than full field, less than, less than the regular season event field. He'd love to get one on a full four-day tournament, full field. So make me feel like a hundred bucks if he catches a good one right here, since it just called for it a second ago, mm -hmm. or twelve seconds ago. Z, do you wonder why he didn't stick with the marina? Because there's a lot of boats gone from it today, or? I think it was starting to turn into a circus. <laughs> in all well, honesty. Uh, Hartman sees a circus and finally oh, sees a circus. If I don't catch another one, you may not be riding with me tomorrow. Shoot, I might not even be fishing tomorrow. It's been a good long while since he put a keeper in the boat. Got some good ones in there though right now as it stands. He just says day one he had a uh, five pound or so large mouth and then yesterday having that six six with a good small mouth as well in there. He's got to have something bigger than that three to help boost it up from the normal Champlain bag. Well, he's got 16 and a quarter and he sounded worried. It's two pounds behind our leader. This man right here, Jamie Hartman. One good large mouth would knotted up at the top and yes <laughs> it's welcome to the jungle we got fun and games we got everything you want In all fairness, the folks hey. in New York only have four months a year they can vote. That's so right. They better hey, vote hey, when hey, they can. Totally, <laughs> totally within their rights that's, to that's be the anywhere they want thing. to be. Uh, this is Saturday, open... Sunday's going to be off limits tomorrow, right? Probably with the winds. There will be much, much, Not officially. much less traffic tomorrow. <laughs> if we get 30 mile per hour gu gusts, yeah, there will be a no lot. No pleasure less. boaters. You, not many. But I, I'm going to tell you, watching Jamie. He is one of the nicest guys that we cover. He's always oh, in a yeah, good mood. Absolutely. He is one incident from absolutely springing mentally. Melting <laughs> down. You can, you can see him clenching his jaw like Popeye right now. Here. That's the unique thing about this sport is it is an open playing field. There are spectators. There are other players recreational fishermen that can impact the outcome of an event that's just like if you got to walk out on the fifth green Tommy and just start putting beside Rory McIlroy right now no cutting through people now okay guys it's been trying it has been trying for Jamie Hartman really right. the last it's fair to say four hours at yeah, boiling nothing has gone right but I'm gonna tell you something friends the first two hours everything went right for Jimmy Hartman starting on his little 20 yard stretch on the New York side starting out with a drop shot after this bass right here he transitioned over to his Carolina rig with what we oh, called a ultra vibish speed crawdad bait get into that a little bit more tomorrow if we can we'll ask Jamie and what was interesting we talked about this earlier today it wasn't like yesterday morning where he blew their doors out the first hour, but he started making upgrades. And actually, one of the interesting things about watching this morning, 
a lot of his smaller fish bit first, which is rare on smallmouth. A lot of times the biggest ones will commit first when you're in a school. The biggest Ooh, ones were before he left around. this area, and as Davey Height said, he's going to be very susceptible to that southeast wind tomorrow, but Davey Height feels he's on the right technique to still put him in the boat. Yeah, he did get the work done this morning. That was championship quality stuff, and you know, the, the results speak for itself. He's still in the lead. He spotted the field an hour and a half to yeah, midday, yeah. and he has still maintained that lead right there. Hats off to Jamie Hartman. Got some more fish and about an hour's worth left to go for the man originally from New York here. We'll be back and pick it up when we return. The Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. What do a taco and a taco truck have in common? Nothing. If you want to play, you need a Tacoma. yet but you will pre-collision system standard on the 2020 Tacoma so you can go from one epic playground to the next if you want to play you need the Tacoma it's been said that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at work Getting you to that fishing spot is key. And Bully Dog gets your truck road ready. No matter where, we give you the horsepower and towing torque right when you need it. We make getting there better. Make your ride a Bully Dog. If you want to know how the best anglers always seem to find fish, stay on fish and be in the right place at the right time? Don't ask them. Just look at the name on the side of their boat. The one that's built 10 million motors, shallow water anchors, and more. No angler's gonna tell you their secrets, but they don't have to, because you already know. Minn Kota, fish for more. You're watching the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain, being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. Launching into the final hour of fishing for 40 anglers out there on beautiful Lake Champlain 2020 Bassmaster Elite. Four days of fishing, and we're coming down to the end of day number three. You gotta be on that list. Mm -hmm. The top 10, if you wanna fish on Championship Sunday. Jamie Hartman, as we just said, as we, as we went to break, he, he, he spotted the field an hour and a half because of uh, uh, mechanical issues because of equipment issues right at midday today and yet he maintains that lead a testament to the work that he's done what a gorgeous gorgeous playing field we have here in between the Adirondacks New York Green Mountains of Vermont great destination this time of year Lake Champlain let's go a little deeper into Lake Champlain what now you can go really deep in this big lake here but uh, we're gonna let Davey Hyde do that job for us right now he spent a lot of time in this beautiful place here's Davey so watching Kobe Krieger and some of the other guys that are fishing top water, I saw Stetson Blaylock a few minutes ago, a lot of the anglers this week with the calm conditions and walking top water baits and a variety of top orders. So one thing I noticed looking at my hummingbird here, I've got side imaging on, down imaging and 2D sonar. There's a lot of boulders here, but what a lot of these anglers are really looking for are not the boulders like we saw a lot last week, but it's this vegetation you're starting to see here now. These are boulders, and this is the vegetation on the side imaging. 
So we want that thicker stuff, the cabbage that grows up all the way to the surface. So going slow, you can find it okay. But on a lake like Lake Champlain, we're going to plane off and try to find thicker and more cabbage. You see it got taller right here. Switch your side image into your down image and running on plane, but still you have the advantage of the tonar. On plane, I can look for that taller vegetation. We see Jamie Harbin throwing a, a Carolina rig in it. We see other anglers throwing top water. It's a way to make your time more efficient. With only two and a half days of practice, doing things like that, separate guys that have 18, 19, and 20 pounds versus the guys that only have 13, 14, 15 pounds. Unfortunately, it means a guy going home after the cut yesterday and the guys that have a chance to win here. Just being more time efficient with your sonar. Good stuff right there, giving us a look at, yeah, deeper <laughs> into the lake there and deeper into the electronics that have totally changed this game here. Uh, chips, high-speed processors have just given anglers so much more of an idea of what's on the bottom, as Davey just explained very well right there. Back out to Kobe Krieger. I can't throw the wacky worm on them because it's too slow to sink down to them. That's two right here. Suckers. on that leaderboard, Brandon Palahniuk, we mentioned him, just ounces behind Seth Fighter right now. So Hartman kind of maintaining his his margin, but really tightening up second through third or fourth. Exactly, and, and really looking at how those weights have started to stack with our top three or four. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's another stop. qualified captain. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, my gosh, it's good. It. Good stuff out there. Oh, my goodness. They're having a time out there. All Bassmaster Elite Series events are contested on public waters. That's right. Totally on public That's waters, right. which means... I'm not sure what you call that right there. <laughs> <laughs> public waters, as, as I just said, just that is public water. Go this way. We ain't going to call it nothing. He was that guy. Yeah. That uh, guy. Uh. Could have caught about a 180-pounder. Just pulled him right off the jet ski. He made the right cast. Two fish right here in this little stretch that would have helped me. Both of them halfway attempted to bite my spook. What I was going to say is with those top three guys, I, as weird as it sounds with the forecast that is potentially looming for tomorrow, um, it's a bit of a benefit to our guys that are going to be fifth through tenth place. It really is. Because it, it could it, be a shutdown situation for some of our top guys. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely could be a shutdown situation. Wow. If there's ever a, a benefit to those guys that are, that are let's say they're going to be three and a half to five pounds back, that is could potentially help them out in a big way. Yeah, because why else, if it's been calm They're and gonna, sunny for three days, would they think they could come them. back? Yeah, if it's going to, you need that weather change up to even give you a chance at something magical. Yes. Lots of stuff to look forward to tomorrow. Again, we're, we'll be with you on the app starting at 8 a.m. Second half of the day right here on ESPN2. Just feels after that first hour of fishing today that it's been a scramble for everybody we've been with. They all know what's coming. They know that weather and they know what it means to the places they fish. Corey Johnson. 
little one. Back with David Mullins. That'll be dangerous for Corey right there if he doesn't. He's throwing a jerk bait that we actually got to see the Bassmaster Classic one on earlier this year. Mm, it looked like same one, pretty close, same size, deep version as well, or the yes. shallow version? Yeah, deep. There we go. Mullins hooked up. Feels like a good one. Pretty good one. Probably should have did this the whole day. Strong, man, he's strong. Here he comes, don't jump. Pretty good one. I think you'll definitely call. Critical to see what size fit. Yeah, wow. he's a good one. Real good one. That might be a four pounder. What size fish David Mullins is able to call here, which could bring him right back in the game. He has got five clones in his live well. I mean, three, five, three, two, three, five, three, 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 five. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, stay down, stay down. Let me get this one in, though. He's one that could really benefit from tomorrow's yes. weather. Yes. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gosh, we've been waiting a long time for that. How about that? Grinded in there shallow so long. Man. That'll work. I think it's blue. That'd be close to full four, huh? Yeah, I would say, for it sure. Help. That's a good call. He might help a little bit. Battery. Yeah, may be still. Maybe we're starting to heat up a little bit. A little more biting going on out there on the lake. Seeing some good fish, especially there for David Mullins. If you move him up, he might pick up a pound or so off of that, maybe more. So David Mullins currently in seventh, looking to move up. Maybe overtaking Lawson, maybe getting up there with Corey Johnston. Hey, Brandon Polnick, who was right below the leaders right there. Very, very interesting here in the final hour of action. From Lake Champlain. The Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. What do a taco and a taco truck have in common? Nothing. If you want to play, you need a Tacoma. At Mercury, we invested thousands of hours of engineering manpower so you can enjoy hours and hours of untapped horsepower. Introducing the all-new V6 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. At Mercury, there are no limits to what we'll do. 
to make sure you have no limits either. Introducing the all-new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. Introducing the Bash U TV app. Get the most out of your Bash U TV subscription and learn on the go with the Bash U TV app. Unlimited access to 700 plus training videos. Multiple new releases each week, including seminars, on-water videos, live shows, interviews, and other original content. The Bash U TV app, never stop learning. Pre-collision system, standard, on the 2020 Tacoma, so you can go from one epic playground to the next. If you want to play, you need the Tacoma. You're watching the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain, being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. Today we're back in Las Vegas for UFC Fight Night with another stellar card. Undefeated 22-year-old Edmund Shabajian takes on eight-ranked Derek Brunson in the middleweight main event. The main card starts at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Prelims at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on ESPN+. Be sure to download the ESPN app if you're watching on your mobile device. Who do you have? Come on, come on. Brunson. What? Brunson. Tommy. I like it, Tommy. Shabazian, the like golden it, boy. The golden boy, 74 inch reach. Check this. Okay. I have followed his career my entire life. 11 and 0, nine knockouts. I'm gonna tell you, it could be over in a hurry in that match. We shall see. I, we shall we see, shall. my friend, and we'll reconnoiter. We'll regather tomorrow. Actually, Actually, we get going at 8 a.m. tomorrow on the Find our friends. <laughs> <laughs> Reconnect with our friends. That's what we'll do after we watch some great. Uh, the first UFC um, fight night of August. As a matter of fact, looking forward to it. If Z keeps it up, it's going to be a short, short run for him over there with Tommy. Tommy's got a heck of a right hook. No, no, that's that's not true at all. <laughs> I'm left-handed. The jabber. The, the, the That's why he's not going to see it coming. He's never going to see it coming. I'm back, fish around the takeoff. There got to be some bacon they let go around there. Seth Spider trying to figure out a way to catch one more good one. Boy, if he could, it would help his cause not tremendously. Good. Uh, don't got much time left to fish. I uh, never got the big bite I was looking for yet. Still got a little time. We might be able to pull off a miracle, but I mean, if I can't catch a four and a half, five pounder here in the next 30 minutes, I'm in trouble. Um, they started out smooth. We were buckethead fishing by 8.30 and caught plenty of fish, just Big bite kind of eluded us today. It's it's hard to get one every day up here, so been pretty fortunate. Been pretty fortunate the first couple days. Catch what I caught. I thought I could catch a couple big ones each day, but I pretty much fished every place I found in practice that I thought had big ones on it and struck out today. Problem was I saved a lot of the stuff for today. And I think other people didn't save it for me. I went to one really good spot that was loaded, and I never had a bite, and the wind was perfect there. So I'm assuming somebody lit them up there. You know this is killing me, right? I know you know. <laughs> oh, this is tearing me up. I wanted to, but look at it. Like that when you go. Quite a spectacle from the point of view from Jamie Hartman here. I'm telling you. 
Everyone is up and running today. It's, it's that rough in the gut. Oh. That is. Hey, 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 hey. What's the boat parade? What's funny is that Hartman is panicking and freaking out as if someone else is catching them better than him when everyone else is not catching. They're catching him just like him. So he yeah. thinks he's giving the whole tournament away and everybody else is thinking the same thing. The competitors do not know what the other anglers no, they do are not. Right. catching. Jamie does not know he's leading. Kobe does not know he's second. Seth probably thinks he's down to fifth or sixth now. He, he thinks he might not even make the cut. Yeah, he right, said that. Right. I was lucky Lord enough to fish a lot of days on this lake. When I'm talking to a lot of my local friends about it, you see right where Jamie Hartman is. That area will have the most protection. And generally speaking, when it gasses like it's supposed to, that area is where it could go down tomorrow. The gut. We got guys buying to get in our top ten. Paul Mueller just made some noise. He's got 18 pounds, what six ounces. He's eighth place. That was another good one. He just he swam behind it. Oh. Such he'd be another one that made the top ten last week. St. Lawrence River and came over here and made the top ten. If Mueller can sneak in there. Dude, he was right behind it. Made one fatal halfway attempt to eat it, and then he left. Then he You're left. Right. We're down to Brandon Polinick right now. Mueller, if he stays there in 10th place, is Micah Fraser, the guys who finished top 10 last week at St. Lawrence. And and Corey was, he's fifth right now. Seen a lot of guys that did good on the St. Lawrence River also duplicating that here. A lot of them fishing the exact same way pretty much. Mm -hmm. Why? Did... Jamie Hartman, good tournament over there. Top That's 30. Nerves today or what they're doing to be honest with you. Well, it's not making me real happy. Rock bass. Oh, still pecking on it. So it's that one that blew up on this thing in the corner three times. Most of them the rest of the day have just sort of been tracking it and not really eating it, trying to eat it. Which makes zero sense to me. Rock bass. Zero. Tearing me up. able to draw them in, Get them convincing them to do the, almost, to go all the way and eat it is a different story. Mm, give me one with a big 10 foot piece of line in his mouth. He's about a five pounder. Crazy. Aggravating, frustrating. There he is. No help for the cause, I do believe. Nope. I can catch these. <clears throat> Are these eat? The other ones, for whatever reason, 
don't want to participate all the way. It's here. We're just going to keep on yanking on them. You're supposed to eat. One and done, son. <laughs> Maybe they want to be on the real wavy side. They love it over here. I'm very intrigued to see if the all smallmouth guys will have a shot to win with 20 smallmouth. Figure there's no I, way that you'd have to have 15 smallmouth, maybe five largemouth, something to give you that little boost in weight. But a guy like David Mullins or Scott Canterbury, if they can stay close. Polinick. Polinick mm -hmm. as well. Yes, 20 smallmouth. That He's might close. be. That might be the deal. I, I talked to the ten or the eight guys we have on camera. Mullins caught ten smallmouth out of ten. Uh, he's obviously added five more today, so he's 15 for 15 on smallmouth. Fighters only caught four smallmouth and weighed them in. Corey's caught five and five. Krieger has nine smallmouth out of ten possible. Um, I think he's averaged. He's added another five more, so he's 14 out of 15. And then Canterbury is the only one with all smallmouth so far. Others have I had nine or seven. There is a very, very good chance of it. Which I don't know if that's ever happened in a pro level event to have all smallmouth win. I'll have to try to go back and figure that out to some kind of here, sense. Here. But at Champlain, yeah, at, Sha at Champlain specifically. It always seems like someone's got a large mouth. Opens, yes. Opens, yes. But I don't know about it. How far back for the opens? The one I fished. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's. But I mean, that's 18 16, years ago. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even born yet. The, the top three in that tournament, the top three, every one of us had small mouth. No large mouth. Not one. Jimmy Hartman strapped his rods up. He's moving. He's going to get closer to the weigh in, I think I heard him say. Fish care, late penalties, wow. things like that will be crucial tomorrow yep. Yep. with yep. that yep. margin of error closing. Crucial today. You know, he's one bite away from the top ten is Brock Mosley. Started seventh. He's fallen down to 20. He's only on four fish. Wow. He's three That's, pounds or so wow. out. And he got it done early on day two. I mean, he was done by noon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brock said, I quit smallmouth fishing. Today, from 12 to 1, had my weight, went looking for a lo kicker largemouth for three hours and never found one. <laughs> he sure would like to fish tomorrow, take his mind off getting home to see his uh, week and a half old baby he has not seen yet. in person. All right, let's head back. We'll fish around the thing a little bit, see if we can't catch a four pounder that somebody done caught. Oh, yeah. There's a good possibility that one, two, three of these guys that run back towards takeoff end up stopping by the spot that Jamie Hartman leaned on every morning. At least morning they're not doing donuts around me. And might find something that might convince them to start there the next day. <laughs> Ed Lawford there. Mullins fish call and call did not pass him. No, it did not. Did Continued. not. Stayed in seventh place. Pass yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. Actually got past Paul Mueller though. Right. Yeah. Of our anglers starting to starting to look at that clock. Time winding down, hoping to make a big call here in the last half. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, oh, trivia. Wow. How about that? Let's check this question out. If an angler were to hook into Champ, the Lake Champlain Steward Sea Monster, what should they do? Recommendations: A. Fire up the grill. B. Catch and release. C. Cut the line. Or D. Call trip and ask for a ruling. Oh, well, that's a humorous. Trip our tournament director. Yeah, our tournament director. Right that's back. a humorous bass exactly. trivia question right there. So th the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats.
Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories. Fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Mercury, go boldly. You're watching the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain, being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. Getting dangerously close to our last half hour of fishing here on day three. Okay, you remember our trivia question. It was a bit humorous. Uh, if an angler would have hooked into Champ, the uh, storied uh, sea monster here on Lake Champlain, what should they do? Okay. Answers A, fire up the grill. B, yes. catch and release. C, cut the line. D, call trip oh, and ask for a ruling. You said you had an answer. I you? would put a harpoon in it and I would get this. I would knock the side off a champ and fry him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when I would That's reconnect with my friends, I'd reconnect with my friends. <laughs> yes. And I would. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with C, just a plain old vanilla C right there. Ronnie? Honestly, you can't go wrong calling trip in any situation. He will be black and white objective on telling you what you should do. I okay. should have told me to get a photo. You're supposed to cut the line. The champ is There's your answer. Cut by the them. line. Cut City the of line. Port Henry, the state of Vermont passed Whoa. legislation, and New York You're passed kidding legislation me. in the 80s. You don't to want to risk a citation. You cannot, oh, yeah. you could no. be in trouble for bringing in champ. See, Take see, a photo. Take a see, photo. See, Safest I like way. my answer because Tripp would have told me to do all of what he just well, yeah. said. You know, like yeah. he would have advised perfectly. So the harpoon and frying idea would be actually a felony. Yes. <laughs> All right. Classy Yes, Understand. killing a mythical made up creature <laughs> is a felony. It's cryptozoological <laughs> creature. Oh my goodness. Ed Lawford. Second year on the Bassmaster Elite Series. <laughs> Having a great tournament out here today. <laughs> getting to see getting to sort of hang out with the folks on Lake Champlain. As we say, this is this may be the number one day of the year. On the lake. No doubt. Except except for the holidays, except for the fourth of July and Labor Day. But in all honesty, this summer, the weather has been like this. Call the biggest summer one under here. a kayak. Under the paddle as it would go in. <laughs> Beautiful day today. Bunch of wind expected to push in tomorrow. It's New York, man. Gotta love it. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I call my five and a half right here the other day. They live here. I mean, but, you know, surprisingly, the fish haven't really been in here this year. Often you'll see like four boats right here. I mean, it's a community hole, but I mean, there's always fish, fish here.
Ed's sort of alluding to the, if there is a good side to all this traffic out here while you're trying to win a tournament, there, there haven't been a lot of locals fishing around any of our anglers. No, they're just out having a time. No, they're just out just having a time. T I N E. I would be too. Little move on the leaderboard here when the top five come up. Little move. Brandon Palnick has called up to 19 and a half. Wow. He's less than two pounds behind the leader, and he's one up here in New York. Something to think about there. You want to keep that situation on your radar for sure. My wife is very disappointed that that I said I would stick Champy with a harpoon. Really? Yeah, she was. That did not go for that. See, I figured she would be more ruthless than that. No. I thought you would be taking it easy on the fish. No, not Champy. <laughs> you got so, a thing for Champy after this week. Saw a picture of his likeness this morning. I guess it was in uh, Fort. Uh, Port, Port Henry, Henry, yes. Port Henry, yes. yes but yeah, yeah. the majority of the sightings, in all honesty, Bulls. I'm not saying this is near Bulwaga Bay, which is a notorious largemouth bay. We actually covered an angler there years ago, a solid day one and two performance. But that is where suits you were the one that investigated it, the majority of those. We have a billboard up of the sightings, and well, do you think that's that why? Do you think that's why Ty has maybe not impacted this event? Champy's been eating the population. The vegetation? Down no, oh, the vegetation. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's it a vegetarian and oh, eats okay. the milfoil. Oh, okay. Drinks the water. There's a baseball team in Burlington, the Vermont Lake Monsters. Really? Yeah. Like in Lowell, Massachusetts, there's a, I think it's a hockey team, the uh, Lowell Lock Monsters. L O C K, like Loch Ness. Such, how many hours do you spend pre-tournament searching these? Every days? night, every day, Ronnie. That's not an hour number. <laughs> Corey Johnston. <laughs> two hours, Ronnie. That's it. Two. Oh, only two. Corey Johnson laboring on out there. It's been, uh, well, it's been almost a couple, well, hour and a half at least since his last keeper. And, uh, well, it's been slow for Seth Fighter, Tommy ounces. Sanders. Man, Seth Fighter, yeah. wow, it's been way back in the middle of the morning slow. since he put a keeper in the boat. It's really full grind. It just, man, just more than five it. hours. Yikes. And that's what's bad is uh, today we've seen without that, with a lack of a five plus pounder, it's a bunch of three to three and a half pounders, which is the standard Champlain bag for middle of the pack. Uh oh, he's hooked up right now. Been a while, may not help. Might help. I don't, I don't think know if so, he's gonna T. help. But if I he like helps, that's a bad deal. That's not like a good it. sign. It'd be good if it helps. Just, before he's before we got bet. I don't think he's gonna do nothing for us. Got he's two, gonna be three. over three. Oh, there you go. There you go, Megan. No. Nope, nope. Good sign, though, dude. Not like what he had. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah. Not like what he had yesterday. Yesterday, those big largemouth for Seth Fighter, really day one and day two, that has been key, and we really have not seen that oh, my happen God. today. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come here. Come here. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's a six pounder, dude. Six six for Whoa. Seth Fighter. We saw him catch one of those in 2017, a six four on the final day to have a shot to win. We thought, hey, six six out of the way on day two, he's gonna be in good position. But as we bring you in for Skeeter Boats, Taste the Bait, wanted to break down that jig because he is one of the only guys doing that specific deal and sticking with it in the afternoon time. Exactly right, and it's a 5 a ounce uh, outcast tackle jig with a soft plastic trailer. It looks very large on screen right here if you're if you're watching this from home, but it's a very compact jig, but it falls fast, and he's only fishing about, say, that deep of water, and it makes a reaction bite. Those fish on a lot of those boat docks, a lot of those piers that he's fishing, they don't have time to react, whether they think that's a little bluegill or just something that's fallen off of a dock. They basically will commit to that. But really, on the other side of that, the flip side, 
predominantly the number one forage in Lake Champlain, there are millions, millions of little four to five inch perch. And that is what the smallmouth in this lake focus on. They live their life. Really, the only time they don't focus on perch is about the one meat week that they are reproducing. But here's what one of those guys looks like in your live well. Uh, if your bait is mimicking in some way, shape, or form a perch, uh, that is what a smallmouth basically chases from the day he's born till the day he passes. And those three or four ounces that each one of these perch that gets spit up from those fish, that costs you places in the standings. And for some of these guys who are chasing these perch uh, eaters, they're going to be longer, skinnier smallmouth, and it's going to be elusive if you lose a couple ounces like he that. He looks like an alien with that yeah, little black he eye. He does, he does. But that's your Skeeter Boat Tates the bait. Not only the largemouth bait that Seth Fighter is predominantly using in the afternoon, but also what in the morning he's been capitalizing on with those perch eaters hooked up again. Can Actually a pike. Starting to get a few takers here. Dang, it's, it's about to happen, dude. Feeling it's it. Ticking time bomb. It's freaking going down. I thought that was him. He got rrr, rrr, rrr. big head shakes. Got 20 minutes. It's freaking going down, dude. Ah, uh, I got. I got all decent ones, no big one. No. I got like 17 pounds. I really could use a four or five pounder. I got pretty much all three to four pounders right now. Appreciate it. Excuse me. Try not to hit you. I'm rooting for those cool guys. Place to catch yeah. One, huh? Got to, got to match your swimsuit to your phone. That's, that's for sure. Yes. Seth Fighter, he uh, he doesn't know exactly where he stands right now, but uh, he feels like th things are about to pop, and he's got time to get it done. So he's got 20 more minutes. Kid on the left yeah. is ready. Yeah, oh, he's ready. They're ready. He is ready. Seth Fighter's ready. As a matter of fact, Seth Fighter has been ready <laughs> since way back when. He has been ready, in fact, <laughs> since he was 10 yeah. years old. What a segue. That was probably... Ten, around 10 years old when I signed my first Bassmaster episode. At that point, I was like, well, people are doing this for a living. That's really cool. But, you know, from that moment, I've done everything I possibly can to get to where I'm at now. Yeah, bud. Yeah, freaking Kongs, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come here. Come here. Woo! -hoo! It's kind of weird. Most kids' childhood dreams don't come true, you know. They're, Everybody wanted to be a pro football player or pro hockey player, and you know now they're selling insurance or something. So it's pretty cool. I got to do what I wanted to do since I was a little tiny kid. Good stuff. Will yeah. this be the week for Seth Fighter? Man, oh man, he has put it. He's done the work. He's got a lot he's, of fans. He's got a lot of fans. He's got some work left to do. That's what makes it interesting. All of these guys have some work left to do. We are a long way from the end of the day tomorrow. The end of the day, very important though, 3 p.m. Eastern time begins way in time. We will decide who our top 10 will see the, the true weights, the official weights, and get our 10 set for tomorrow's finale, Championship Sunday. We got a little more when we come back. The Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. I'm pro anger Andy Montgomery. I've been making my living with Strike King products for a long time. So when they showed me the new Tour Grade line, I was all in. I knew I could trust it. What I didn't know was how easy it was to use. 
with the spooling tool and the prepaid envelope to recycle your old line included in every single box. Not only is it the best line on the market, it gives you the easiest fishing experience possible. Find out more at StrikeKing.com. For over 70 years and 19 consecutive NMMA Consumer Satisfaction Awards, Skeeter continues to set the standard. And now, through October 19th, you can fall into savings with rebates of up to $1,500 on the FXR Limited, up to $2,500 on the FXR Apex, and double rebates of up to $3,000 on the ZX250. Fall into savings now through October 19th. Visit your local dealer or SkeeterBoats.com and fall into savings on the Skeeter boat of your dreams. In the wild, nature dictates that when it's time to eat, animals will instinctively find and devour the meal that satisfies them most. In the water, Berkeley Powerbait's scientifically proven formula triggers the natural predatory instinct in bass. Now available in a plethora of shapes, sizes, and colors. Berkeley Powerbait. Fish bite and won't let go. You're watching the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain, being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. After we're done here, our NBA quadruple header continues with the Jazz and Thunder over on ESPN, 3.30 Eastern, 12.30 Pacific, followed by Pelicans Clippers. Finally, it's Lakers Raptors. All three games are on ESPN and the ESPN app. And great games, but I'm still spun yeah. out uh, on the UFC fight that you did not go Edmund Shabazian. I, I'm stunned. You know what undefeated means? You just haven't been defeated yet. That's what undefeated Whoa. means. Wow. Oh, I okay. with Tommy on yeah. that. Yeah. I go a little deep bro. for you there. Yeah. yeah. See, I told you, you that right hook has some bite to it. Okay, Jamie Hartman, you can't get much deeper than 10th place. You cannot get deeper than 10th place in the standings if you want to fish tomorrow. We're still right. out there trying to identify those 10. We'll be set up for our final day, and we know that things tomorrow will be very, very different. Everything you can put in the boat this afternoon, these final 10, 15 minutes of fishing, if you've got them, Everything you can put in will help prepare you for adverse conditions on the way tomorrow. No doubt about that. Tomorrow's going to be the X factor of this entire event. Mother Nature's going to growl big time here. Not going to get a lucky fish today, buddy. On Lake Champlain. Ain't going to happen, Captain. And where Jamie Hartman sits, there's going to be this some right rollers. On top of it. Uh oh. Oh boy. Yeah. Come on. Dude, Jesus Christ, man, I'm telling you, dude, it, it doesn't fail today. It just, it doesn't fail. I'm casting this way and they go right on top of it. I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. All my casts are this way. I just don't get it. It is, boy, I'll tell you what. There is no question about it. Huh? Get it out of the way today. The local guys hooked up. Big old pike. Oh boy. It is unraveling in Jamie Hartman's boat mentally right now. Local guys or maybe not. It's a small mouth. It's a big small mouth. It's a big one. Not good. Yeah. OK. 
comes with the job. Hey, when they say a uh, bad day fishing is better than a good day at work, if work is fishing, a bad day fishing is uh, pretty A bad, bad day at work. Yeah. <laughs> if work is fishing. They're right? synonymous, actually, in this situation. Yeah. You have to put it in the context right now. The dude's got 19 pounds. He's leading the tournament. But it's because they're catching them so well, he feels like he has left a whole lot out there, and he's going to be so far behind he can't win. He blew his chance, but he doesn't realize he's still in the leading oh, driving oh, yeah. position. Well, he thinks guys like Kobe are just going to town out there right now, and Kobe's... Kobe is... Hats off to Kobe Krieger. He's done what he's needed to do today. It's, Could stand to have a little more. It's entertaining. It, uh, yes, I he has been. Like I say, that. he's been busy, busy, busy all day long. Hey, Tom Sanders. Yeah. How about the Mercury move of the day? Oh, about it. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Beautiful top water bites early this morning and often mm -hmm. for Kobe Krieger. Originally from northern Indiana, now resides Coquilia, Florida. Yes. That's the one Kobe Krieger's had a big dry spell baby. here on the Elite Series. A lot of uh, northern experience, and it really hasn't shown That's up bigger. the last Good few God, years. You see that? Oh. This one really kind of setting into Kobe Krieger's wheelhouse. Yes. You get smallmouth going about 10 feet of water and shallower, he's going to be a major player. Just some fantastic camera work, great topwater bites. But like a lot of our anglers that are going to be fishing, Championship Sunday, you got to be in the top ten. I think every one of our anglers, in some way, shape, or form, they're going to have to adjust to ten to potentially thirty mile per hour winds. But today, Kobe Krieger is well, he is for the first time ever in his career. Great shot of a Lake Champlain smallmouth. He is the Mercury move of the day. Tom Sanders, well done. Thanks. Well done. Thank you for that. I concur. Well, you can watch He's that all day long. Oh, man. Bihar, what do you think his game plan switch up's going to be tomorrow? I think you're going to see a lot of jerkbait fishing tomorrow, personally, by a lot of people. Take a look at where he got it done today. We have a little map here that shows you the when and where, and actually what in terms of weight. And here's what's weird. You see where the majority of his work got done? We were covering Clark Wenlinks. On day number one, your angler of the year leader at the time, he was about 300 yards oh. deeper to start this event. Wow. Back to Kobe Krieger Live. He has been busy. He has attacked his job today here. He is fully engaged at all times. Mm -hmm. Stay with a game plan, too. And for the, for the guys like Jamie Hartman, Kobe Krieger, other people who've been weighing them in the boat, that's a good way of knowing the weight of your fish to cull and make the proper, you know, throw back the smaller ones. But those scale weights, which get entered into Bass Track, aren't official. Right. They will all bring right. them back, and they'll all weigh them on the Bassmaster scale. So. That 18 Estimated. pounds, even if you're like, oh, Kobe's been weighing them all day, it can be up to at least half a pound off if they're being completely truthful on their bass track. Well, whenever you come, I would say today spook fishing was terrible. Well, we just gave him the mercury move of the day, and he's saying how bad the topwater fishing was <laughs> compared to 22 <laughs> I mean, pounds just, yesterday. He's Z. contradicting. You, you, you don't go against a mercury move of the day. No, so no, no. He wasn't thinking. He didn't know. You know. Hey, just, the other side is he didn't know. Every time we come to New York, the the fishing gods shine on 
our anglers every single time. But Mother Nature always has a tendency maybe to not so much. Mm. And we're going to get to see just like last week. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Well, that's something we're going to turn right now to our, our colleague, our associate, Dave Mercer. He's aware of the situation tomorrow, and he's got his own thoughts yes. on what these guys will be dealing with on the water championship Sunday. For three straight days, Lake Champlain has opened up her bounty to our anglers. At the same time, showing the mercy with almost perfect conditions. Well, come championship Sunday, the forecast is saying it's all going to change. Between 15 and 30 mile an hour winds. What's that going to do? It's going to make this playing field a whole lot bigger. Not geographically, but time-wise. Anglers won't be near as nimble. They won't be able to make those key adjustments that we've seen happen day after day. You're gonna have to have them dialed in and make sure everything goes right. This adjusting is gonna be almost impossible. Yep, Dave Mercer sizing it up for us tomorrow. Certain to keep, something to keep on your mind Dang. as we look forward. There's our TH Marine weather watch for tomorrow. I think the key is there going to be a little window, a little 60-minute window the first hour? Oh, okay, we will be here for that, to show that to you. Wind's predicted to get up south-southeast at 10 to 20 miles an hour. South-southeast is the direction that takes in the length of massive Lake Champlain. And waves have a way of amplifying when they have that far to go. We don't have much more far to go in our show today, but we'll take a break and be right back. The elite at Lake Champlain is being brought to you live by Skeeter Boats. When I'm on the road for work or for fun, I always like to have a reliable generator around. This open frame inverter from Champion is ideal because it's lighter than a standard open frame generator and more affordable than a traditional inverter. The remote start helps me start up the generator or shut it off without having to leave my camper. It provides essential power for things like charging my boat batteries, also makes life a lot more comfortable for myself and my family. It's been said that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at work. Getting you to that fishing spot is key. And Bully Dog gets your truck road ready. No matter where, we give you the horsepower and towing torque right when you need it. We make getting there better. Make your ride a Bully Dog. yet but you will the Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain is brought to you by Pablo Garcia, Berkeley, Nitro Boats, and by Ranger Boats. 40 guys out there on the waters there of Lake Champlain, beautiful Lake Champlain all day long today, doing everything they can think of to make it into the top 10 so they can fish tomorrow, Championship Sunday. We will bring it all to you starting on the app at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. 
for three hours in our morning session. We'll take a break at noon, keep the cameras rolling, come back, join you here on ESPN2 for the final three hours of Championship Sunday tomorrow to decide the winner. And this Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain, Jamie Hartman, despite being tested on oh, just yeah. about every possible yeah. level you could be tested at, including spotting the field an hour and a half time on the sidelines, getting some equipment taken care of, he remains in the lead right now. Kobe Krieger has done great work today, yeoman's work, as you might say, to keep there right behind all the rest of our 10 that, appear, uh, that appear now on that leaderboard you just saw. It may not be the same. We're going to make it official, though, starting at 3 p.m. What do you say I grab this, Fred? You know what that Would means. You, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. Exactly right, yeah. Jamie Hartman has been tested, and he has shown up here on Lake Champlain. He went full-blown Edmund Shabazian early this morning he and did. often. He yes, he did. So Tom, you, and if you're going to do that here on Lake it's Champlain, you're going to probably have to do it at some time against adversity but Jamie Hartman a flawless performance days one through three so far and the question comes after watching what you've done on the New York side of Lake Champlain can you reconnect one more time with five more friends on championship Sunday you are the power pole replay of the day pulled There's it all together <laughs> It was for you. Ooh, it was clear. Thank it was you. It was. Around, it was dude. I knew I wasn't going to get a bunch Boy, of he has had a trying day. Poor he guy. has. It's, he's had a lot thrown in front of him, and uh, <laughs> he has responded like a true man. Back out of the water. Real player. See a lot of our anglers making their way back, getting ready for weigh-in here on semifinal Saturday. Going to be Krieger. Yep, well. Oh, boy. Just a little, little keychain fella right there, just to remind you of this day. Kobe has worked so hard yes, today. Man, oh man, I mean. It's been good has, being with Kobe today. It, this, it has been real fun. That's the marina. This is the other side of the marina from takeoff. Like he is. He's right there. 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 the first flight? Yes. Anybody with a camera today, the top 20. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. First Checking flight. in three and 320. Three, 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 well, five. we'll see what happens. Had opportunities. So I said, I don't think it's anything I really did wrong. Things just didn't go right. Little does Kobe know he will be right in the mix for this victory going into championship Sunday. Got plenty of experience, years of experience. Big water, bad weather, he's done it all. And again, to be clear to all of our friends that have joined us all week long, we will be on ESPN I'm 2 to tomorrow. at I'm noon not sure tomorrow. What I'm gonna do right here for at noon tomorrow. No, Final three. Where I'm gonna noon? Start at or Eastern? Noon Eastern. 8 a.m. on the air. Exactly. Probably won't start where I started today if I make it, I don't think. Already starting to blow a little bit. Probably, Probably start at my regular seen. starting spot. And then go over there about 30 minutes in, 40 minutes in. You kind of start talking and realize it was a rough day all around for almost everyone. Except Polinick. Yeah. Pollock had a big rebound from yesterday. 19 and a half, he's probably over 20. Exactly. He may be very pleasantly surprised when he comes in, weighs his fish in. Dave Mercer will be taking care of that weigh-in. Right. Walk lightly around Jamie Hartman at that weigh-in if you're over there. <laughs> if your boat touches my boat. <laughs> How'd it go today? He's a, you know, he's a yes. little grizzly bear. Oh, yeah. Nice guy, but boy, he's been tested today. Yes. Still in all, he's in the catbird seat, holding down that top spot. He most likely will be at the end of the weigh-in. Got a feeling we're in for some real big fireworks and surprises tomorrow. Can't wait. Yep. It's going to be a big final day and a big, important tournament. Fourth stop of the year for the Bassmaster Elite Series. We had a bit of a pause there, just like everyone else and just about every other walk of life. Very, very lucky to be back on track today and getting ready for a bang-up final day of this New York swing, which has provided lots of thrills and chills and spills and great fishing. Thank you for being with us today. We cannot thank you enough and get ready to go. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning on the app.
at noon right here on ESPN for Bassmaster Live.